Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How you guys doing today? I hope all is well. Uh, today we're going to be continuing on on an older game that I had been streaming a little while back ago. I mean, it's not an older game. It's not that old. Bloodborne, come on. It's not that old. But uh, yeah, a little bit of a Souls type game coming back onto the channel. I was doing uh, Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne and The Surge and Neo at one point on the channel, but uh, kind of just, uh, I don't know, it just kind of fell off. I started focusing more on uh, just uh, certain games like uh, like Persona 5 and God of War has been big lately. Uh, those are the games that I've been more focusing on. Um, but yeah, uh, I thought bringing back some of the some of the Souls games would be pretty nice. Uh, seemed like it would be the right thing to do, you know, have a little bit more of a diversity on the channel, more, uh, you know, just different stuff, something, something, uh, bigger to challenge me as well. Um, let's see, P. Hansen is in the chat, says, um, here, but just, uh, just waiting through the, the advertisements. No worries, buddy. Heck yeah. Thank you for popping in. I definitely appreciate that. Definitely appreciate that big time. And then we got Adiel on the YouTube chat says, hey, I'm here. Uh, you sound more robotic. Hmm. Weird. Let me, let me turn off this uh, mic and bring it. With my mic lately, I'm going to have to probably go get a new one soon. But uh, yeah, it seems like that's been happening a lot more, uh, more recently. Like it's been happening a lot. Let me know if, uh, if, uh, Unplugging it and plugging it, uh, unplugging it and plugging it back in did anything. Let me know if it sounds better now. And hey, we got Canucks fan in the YouTube chat as well. What's up, Canucks fan? Thank you so much for joining, dude. I appreciate that big time. Appreciate each and every one of y'all jumping in. Definitely some good stuff all the time. Definitely, uh, love it. Uh, let's see, Adia says it did nothing. Hmm, weird. See, yeah, no, I, I was hearing that yesterday. Oh, oh, okay. I see why. I see why. How about now? That probably, that's probably a lot better. See, I noticed that yesterday with the music I was playing, when I played the Eminem song yesterday, I heard that robotic stuff. But uh, I think I found the problem. It was on my, it was on my, uh, on my Streamlabs, or not Streamlabs, on my OBS. There was two different microphone uh, things going on. So this should, that should have been better. That should make it better. Uh, let me know if it's working better now because yeah, that that might have been what it was I had two different sources for my for my audio for whatever reason. I don't know why Very odd very very odd. I don't know I'm gonna have to go through this sometime and try to figure out what's what and take off the things that are Unnecessary and stuff like that, you know, because it seems like seems like things got moved around on my OBS without me uh, You know without me doing it. So it's very weird very very weird um, let's see, uh, Canucks fan says better, Card King says sounds good to me, and, uh, Adia says it's good now. Okay, there we go, thank you guys, thanks for the heads up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it was, having two different sources. So, uh, one of those sources might have been, I don't know, something different, something, I don't know, something's weird. <laughs> but yeah, I'll definitely go through that, uh, after the stream and try to, uh, move things that aren't supposed to be there. P. Hanson on the Twitch uh, chat says, I got some intel on Persona 5. One of the streamers I watch had Futaba with him uh, much further along. I believe she takes over as the nav. Huh, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that. A lot of the Futaba stuff, I kind of knew she was going to be uh, part of our team because of... Uh, like when you start up the game, it shows you a lot of the people that are going to be there and I kind of recognized her. And whenever I make... Uh, thumbnails I, I usually get my pictures off of like off of the google images image searches and then i'll like make them my own you know i'll, I'll move things around put my put my uh my uh profile picture in my name and like you know live the, the stuff that you see me do you know and uh she's she's always one of the people that are in those pictures you know so i kind of figured she was going to join us but i wasn't too sure what she was doing uh, P. Hansen says she can also change things in the battlefield. Hmm, that's crazy. Hell yeah, we'll we'll have to see once we get there. That's crazy. Um, let's see. Um, Canucks fan says middle of a game of middle of a game of it myself. Card King, are you saying you're playing some Persona or what do you mean Battlefield? Not too sure. Oh, you know what? I need to change my chat on YouTube to all chat. 
all messages or whatever because there's times where I miss things and I'm like what the fuck you know like what the hell am I like what the hell like why are people like saying shit and I don't even see what they're talking about you know <laughs> card king says bloodborne okay okay yeah I see what you're saying buddy yeah yeah some good stuff oh and uh, we are doing our cuss jar donation today I've got some of the information in the description below uh, we're doing it from the 1st to the 7th of June uh, we're gonna be donating to the fuck cancer foundation uh, you could get more information at uh, www.fuckcancer.org and uh, you know what that's like three quarters right there <laughs> and yeah some good stuff I do have like uh, like weird coins in my in my in my thing I don't have a lot of quarters so like even if I do throw like a penny in there or something I am gonna count it as a quarter I do have like car wash tokens and you know random random coins uh, every here and there but uh I definitely will uh, everything that goes in there will count as a quarter unless somebody donates to the stream so whatever anybody donates that's also gonna be included in our uh, total donation for the fuck cancer organization oh there's another quarter but yeah some good stuff uh, just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that uh, we got some bloodborne today I want to throw in some um, what is it called uh, the surge uh, we might do that tomorrow I'm not sure I might uh, keep up with the persona every other day so maybe bloodborne today persona tomorrow then the surge and then Persona, then God of War, then Persona, you know, because we, we do need to keep Persona going consistently so that everybody uh, can stay up with the story and so that we could get through it uh, somewhat quickly, you know, because it's a, it's a big game. I'm already like 80, 80 hours in and I'm not sure if I'm even halfway yet. So, yeah, it's, it's really crazy. <laughs> Uh, P. Hansen says, I don't think the name of the charity should count. Uh, yeah, I, I get that too. Maybe I'll just call it F Cancer from now on whenever I see it. So, yeah, no worries. I definitely understand that myself. Uh, but yeah, Ariel says it counts for the greater good, <laughs> right? If I slip, if I slip up and do say the whole thing, I'll, I'll count it, but I'll, I'll just keep trying to say F Cancer, you know, because the, the whole, uh, the whole donation. The whole cuss jar donation thing comes from me trying to lower the amount of uh, cuss words I say. So, you know, the, the better I get at it, the less we donate. But the less we donate, the worse off uh, the donation is, you know. So it's, it's kind of it's, it's a tricky situation here. But, you know, either way, it's a good thing to do. <laughs> uh, Canucks fan says, I'm in Ultra Moon right now, grinding out legendary Pokemon. Three left to catch uh, in Suicune, Kiram, and... Garatina left. Oh damn! I haven't played Ultra Moon yet, or or Sun. I haven't played the the seventh generation, and I really, really slapped myself for that. I need a 3DS just so I could do that. But uh, um, let's see. I don't think I have any more info. So uh, here we go. Oh wait, you know what? Let's uh, let's take a hit from the pipe real quick. Still got me some cookies and cream. Has nothing to do with the game today. <laughs> I don't know if I could find any strains that would relate to Bloodborne, but uh, maybe next time. But if uh, any anything uh, anything that would work, I I, I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of marijuana strains. It's hard to say, but either way, cheers. <laughs> oh damn, that was quite quite the goddamn rip. <laughs> Osriel says ish. Ish, a lurking mod, bong grip, and bolt. <laughs> Back to Twitch. <laughs> nice, dude. Hell yeah, some good stuff. Uh, Card King says, I wouldn't want to smoke anything named after Bloodborne. That'd be a bad trip. <laughs> right? Definitely. That'd be some crazy stuff. Oh, man, that's funny. Hey, we got the John Bacon joining us. Uh, we're getting bacon rated as well. Heck yeah. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate that. Uh, P. Hansen says, we got one cuss word. Oh, I might have missed one. My apologies. There we go. Throw that one in there. But heck yeah. Welcome, Raiders. Thank you guys so much. Uh, this week, I'm doing a cuss jar donation. So every cuss jar, I, I say, is a quarter in our little jar here. Uh, we're going to be doing it for the F Cancer Foundation. I uh, got more information on the description below on YouTube. Never mind, that's not on Twitch, but uh, you know. <laughs> uh, but if you want more information, just uh, go to Google, type in F Cancer Foundation, or uh, it's a uh, fuck can fuck can ah, fuck cancer dot org. <laughs> and uh, yeah, some good stuff. Some good stuff. Definitely, uh, very, very uh, good. 
foundation to be given to. Um, John Bacon says, uh, thanks all. Hope all is well. Yeah, definitely, ba John Bacon. Things are doing very nicely, and I appreciate you guys jumping on over. Definitely a uh, big help for sure. But uh, for all ado, let's, let's get this show on the road. Let's get this game started. It's been a good little while since I've played some Bloodborne, and... Uh, Oh shit, I don't, oh, that's another, that's another quarter. I don't have my Streamlabs up. Let me throw that up real quick, guys. Because if we do get any subscribers or, or uh, followers or any uh, donations, it might not come up. So let's throw the Streamlabs up, make sure everything is good there. I thought I had everything ready, but, you know, I, I'm, my unprofessionalism, unpre unprofessionally, in that. Eh can't even say it. I'm professionalism. <laughs> it's definitely showing today. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Card King asks on YouTube, uh, so where are you at in the game? Ooh, that is very hard to say. <laughs> very, very hard to say because uh, I'm not quite sure. Mm. So I know I, I fought like this witch that has like eyeballs all, all over him. I know I got like like two bosses after that. Uh, let's see if I could show you through um, through something. Oh shit! Damn it! There's another quarter. <laughs> I'm I'm definitely gonna get uh, get put in debt after this one. <laughs> um, it's been a good little while. Like I said, I haven't played in a while, so uh, I am going to have to get reacquainted to everything. Oh sh oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Today was not the right day to be playing Bloodborne. What is going on here? Why are you not hitting him? There we go. There we go. Stupid crow. I hate those damn crows. Okay, okay, um, let's see, what can I do to show where we are? I don't think there's much, uh, I'm level 41, if that helps. <laughs> um, oh, here we go, some of our inventory might help, this has, this will show us a little something something. I thought there was like little, uh, things that like showed which, which, uh, bosses you fought, but, uh, I don't remember if there actually is, maybe not. I don't know. I would say I'm like maybe six or seven bosses in. It's hard to say. Very hard to say. Card King says, Hunter Dream, Hunter's Dream would show all the places you have available. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is true. That is true. Let's go there. Let's go to the Hunter's Dream because it would be nice to... Uh, well, I do have full blood vials. I, I still need to like make sure I'm doing things right and figuring it all out completely because like I said, freaking uh, been a good little while, so I got to get it all back in order. P. Hansen says, this is the Stony Tark playthrough of Bloodborne. Please pull up a chair, uh, your favorite drink, and or a smoking device, and get stony with us. <laughs> and stony streams from CO in the U.S. where marijuana is legal. Say hi, and I will take a toke uh, as a sign of respect and, respect and gratitude. Yeah, definitely. Heck yeah, P. Hansen. Some good stuff right there. Thank you so much for uh, for all that information for any new people there. So I'm pretty sure the Hypo Gion Gallo that I think that's where we just were, right? Or maybe it was the Forbidden Woods. I ooh, I should have probably looked at that before we left. <laughs> but yeah, I've been through all that. Been through these three. I know that that probably means I skipped something by being able to come here, but it's hard. It's hard. Uh, Card King says Forbidden Woods where it was where I was at. Okay, nice, nice. <laughs> it's good to have somebody in the chat that actually knows the game, cause uh, I uh, there was one time when I was playing this and I left where I was to come here to the Hunter's Dream, and it took me forever to find out where I was. You know, like to get back to the spot I had left from. And oh man, it was it was the worst for me. I was like so confused, like no, this isn't the spot. This isn't the spot. Going back and forth from the hunter's dream to these different locations, you know, all these loading signs. I'm over here panicking, like where was I? <laughs> it was it was terrible. <laughs> so yeah, not drinking any uh any magic juice today no more no caribou lose on on this friday night thursdays are my fridays so i'm a little like i'm usually a day behind everybody else but uh on fridays on fridays i usually have to get up really early that's why i don't really drink too much on uh on fridays i usually have to get up oh jesus i usually have to get up around like uh like eight around eight or so and if i'm hungover or you know just 
you know, drinking in general makes me really tired the next day, whether I've overdid it or not. And, uh, yeah, it's just extremely hard for me to be able to get up and be ready on uh, on that day. And yeah, some crazy stuff, some crazy stuff. Hey, we got Logan in the in the Twitch chat. What's up, Logan? Thank you so much for joining, man. I appreciate that. Says yo, yo, dude. What's up? Thanks for joining, man. Definitely some good stuff, man. Watching uh, GA play uh, play Dark Souls earlier was really giving me that Dark Souls itch, you know. Um, like it really made me want to go out and buy the Dark Souls remastered, the original. Oh, you son of a gun. Oh, he missed. <laughs> I actually got away from him the first time. But uh, I, I kind of want to go buy the Dark Souls remastered because uh, Dark Souls 3 is the, the only one that I've... Well, out of the Dark Souls games. Dark Souls 3 is the only one that I actually was able to play all the way through. Um, I did have Dark Souls 1s when it first came out. When it first came out. But uh, at the time, I was trying to buy Skyrim, and I didn't know what Dark Souls was, so I, I wasn't prepared for this freaking challenge, you know? So, uh, oh, you son of a gun. So, like, I, I, I gave it my best. I tried as hard as I could, and the furthest I've gotten on Dark Souls 1 was uh, that first boss, that first... Uh, you know, where you got to jump down and stab him in the head, all, like, over and over again. You, like, climb up the ladder, jump down, stab him in his head, fucking run across the bridge. Oh, there's another corner. Uh, but you run across the bridge, make him follow you. You run back before he comes. You, you climb up, jump off, stab him on the head. That's as far as I got on that game. And I would love to give it another, another playthrough, you know, another chance. Now that I actually know what freaking Dark Souls is and know how to handle myself in the game, you know. Some, some definitely good stuff. Um, Logan asks, uh, oh man, you're gonna rock it on the Switch? I do want to buy it on Switch. I really do. Just because, uh, you know, I take my Switch with me wherever I go usually. Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. But yeah, I usually, uh, take my Switch with me. Oh no, 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 no. Don't reawaken. Eee, I'm dead. Ah, see, this is what I mean. I gotta, gotta get reacquainted. Gotta get reacquainted with the game. <laughs> that shouldn't have been such an easy, easy death right there. That was terrible. Uh, but yeah, I freaking I take Switch everywhere. I usually play it whenever I'm in line somewhere, you know, at the store or, you know, sitting at the doctor's office or wherever I have downtime when I'm not at home. And I feel like Dark Souls would be uh, that type of game where you could pick up and put down for the most part. It depends how it's implemented because if it's uh, if it's. If it doesn't stop when you turn it off, then that's going to be a problem because you know how with. Uh, with uh, like Dark Souls three or even with Bloodborne here, you can't you can't pause it. Everything still moves when when you have your your item screens up, you know. And uh, what am I doing here? Let's change our oh Jesus! Let's change our freaking items before I start using something that I don't want to use. Okay. But yeah, if it doesn't stop whenever you turn off the device or if you turn it off and it like resets you to the bonfire or something, that's going to be a problem. But if it's like most games where I could just uh, turn off the power, turn it back on and it's in the exact same spot I left it, then cool, I'll be fine with that. Like I could go take Celeste wherever I want to go. I could take Mar Mario Par or Mario Kart wherever I want to go. Uh, Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. You could play that anywhere at any time. Um, even Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, you fucking press that power button in the middle of a jump, you turn the game off and turn it back on, you're gonna, you're gonna land from that jump, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna reset your progress, it's not gonna start you over, it's not gonna continue without you, like, uh, that's what I'm looking for in the, in the Switch version of Dark Souls, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see, Card King says... Uh, well, I kind of know it. I got through one of the final bosses, but I never found the abandoned workshop. Oh, in, in the original Dark Souls? Yeah, man. I really wish I would have gave it more of a chance than I did. But, uh, at the time when I bought it, when I was that, when I was, uh, much younger, I was not prepared for the type of challenge it was producing. And, uh, ended up just not getting any further. It is crazy. Oh, uh, Card King says no in this, in this. Oh, okay, okay, I see what you're saying. See, uh, like I said, it's been a little while since I've uh, played this. I'm really not too good on the locations in this game because uh, I've, I've had this game for as long as I've had my PS4. 
and uh, I play it intermittently, you know, I'll play it for a while and then I'll end up getting stuck somewhere and stop playing it. And then uh, after a while, I'll be like, oh man, that game was really good. Why did I stop playing it, you know? And then I'll start playing it again, get past the point where I was stuck at. And then, uh, oh shit, he's still alive. <laughs> get past the point I was stuck at. And then, uh, you know, continue on for a little while until I get stuck again. And then once I get stuck again, I'll stop playing it, forget everything that I fucking... Ah, oh, shit, there's another. Uh, there's another, like, three quarters or four in there. I'm gonna have to throw four just in case. <laughs> But yeah, it, it just happens constantly. Get stuck, forget everything, stop playing, come back, remember a few things, get stuck. You know, it's just a cycle. And I, I need to break that cycle. I need to just beat this game already. Because like I said, I've had it the entire time I've had my PS4. Very crazy. Very crazy. See, Logan on Twitch says, Also, I'm kind of biding my time. The, miss and, the missus and I are on baby watch. If contractions start up again, we are heading to the hospital. Oh, man. Congratulations, Logan. That's, that's crazy. Some nerve-wracking stuff right there. But, uh, heck, yeah, man. Definitely good to, good to see, see the new baby. That's going to be some good stuff for you guys. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see those baby pictures come up on Twitter. That'll be, that'll be a good day for y'all definitely some good stuff where am i did was this literally just a dead end there's no way because the other that would mean the other way is where i came from right like unless i unless i diverged somewhere that i didn't notice see a lot of bloodborne as well has been is me getting uh getting lost like a lot of this i don't even get stuck in places i just get lost and can't find my way around <laughs> like there's so many paths in this game like this game is such a dang puzzle there's so many different paths and once you get past one like you go down one path you might go as far and find a boss but then it'll end that's it that's the end of the path you got to go back and find the split in the road and me being a stoner i forget which paths i've already taken you know and so i'll take the same path like three times in a row and figure that I'm just completely lost even though there's this alternate path that I don't take and don't realize that I'm not taking it you know and that might be what's happening right here because <laughs> I do not recognize any of this I don't remember being here at all when I when we last played this I should have I should have watched my last Bloodborne playthrough just to recognize where we are just so that I would have had an idea where to go because if I would have if I would have watched that that would have that would have shown me what we did last in this oh no I remember this actually I do remember this okay okay I have an idea of where I'm at somewhat maybe not I don't remember this skeleton dude being here oh he can talk oh he's already dead <laughs> what <laughs> that does okay all right all right bloodborne if you wanna you want to say that okay maybe i haven't been here i, I lied to y'all lied to myself i don't know where the heck i am i think we're i'm i think we're progressing though so that, that's a positive but like i said there's so many paths i don't know what those other paths i might have passed uh would have led to you know sometimes i feel like i'm going the wrong way like like you can go these ways but they might have harder enemies than what you're prepared for you know like one way might be the appropriate way for the level you are, but the the other way is like for later on or something, you know. It's just crazy. It's just it's, just, it's Dark Souls logic, you know. Oh, good to see you safe. Now let's think up something to discuss. Just tell me what piques your interest. Hey, we got Daddy Gamer in the YouTube chat. What's up, Daddy's Gamer? Thank you so much for joining us, man. I appreciate that. Some good stuff. Uh, let's see, uh, Daddy Gamer says, I know, but, uh, oh, okay, talking about what we were talking about, it says, uh, for the first one, he says, oh, Kashom Stoners, Tony's playthrough of Dark Souls, Dark Souls, <laughs> right, heck yeah, um, I do want to get it on Switch, just, uh, for the mobility of it and stuff, but, uh, yeah, that's actually a good name right there, man, I like that. Let's see, talk about the healing church, be, get, be again with the corrupt vials, let's see the healing church. The healing church is the fountainhead of blood healing. While I'm a simple hunter, quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution, but I have heard that the turn up that uh blood healing is venerated in the main game volume for y'all, and that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. Hmm. If you seek blood healing, and the church is willing, 
You should pay them a visit. Okay. Let's talk about Beer Ganworth. Ferganworth is an old place of learning. And the tomb of the gods carved out below Yarnum should be familiar Ooh. to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. Yo, Dark Hero 241, thank you for joining us on church, YouTube. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Definitely good to see ya. In this sense, everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood, abandoned and decrepit. And furthermore, the healing church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. Hmm. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive, but only they know the password that allows passage through the gate. Okay, so yeah, I definitely haven't been this way before. This is very new to me. I have not seen that before. Card King says, uh... Let's see, uh, it says, if you've already got past the V-car, then, or the V-star, V-car, then you are going backwards. I'm not too sure, man. I, I don't think I have. That doesn't sound familiar. Oh, but Logan on Twitch says, yeah, she finally started rolling into them again. Now we have to time it. I'm thinking his wife's contractions. So, man, that's crazy. It could just be happening any second now. That's crazy. Uh, Adiel says, check my last comment directed to you. Let's see. Arian Sasari meant Daddy Gamer. Oh, he was saying that he would like to do a door. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. No, no worries, no worries. Um, let's see here. <laughs> Daddy Gamer says there's a voice, but his mouth ain't moving. He's a witch. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Uh, and then P. Hansen on Twitch says, I see we have some lurkers tonight. Come on, friends, say hi and let us show our respect for you. Yeah, guys, anybody that might be uh, lurking on Twitch or YouTube or wherever, definitely say hi. Take a hit from the pipe for y'all. I live in Colorado. It's a legal thing. And, uh, you know, definitely a good community here. People will definitely say hi and, you know, help y'all out with any problem you might have. So some good stuff. Did we already hear, talk about the vials? I don't think we did, huh? Master sure. Agarius led his executioners into Canehurst Castle to cleanse it of the vile bloods. But all did not go well. And Master Agarius became a blessed anchor, guarding us from evil. Tragic. Tragic times. Tragic. But Master Agarius should be abandoned in the accursed domain of the vile bloods. I must free him so that he may be properly honored in martyrdom. Adios says, I meant the comment before that one where I tagged you instead of Daddy Gamer. It was about, oh, about Persona 5. Let's see here. Adios, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, what, uh, what you do with the Switch, you can do with Persona 5, too. You just put your PS4 on rest mode, and then you can come back to it later if you have to leave. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I have noticed that with Persona 5. Uh, when, I was, when I was doing the Persona 5 week, I would actually do that. I would just uh, put the PlayStation on on uh, rest mode and just come right back to it when, whenever I start the stream. But yeah, that is something I really love about video game systems nowadays. My parents were the kind of people that uh, if you're not using something electronic, you gotta turn it off, you know? Like even, even nowadays with our, uh, with our satellite, like uh, they have uh, Dish Network. And uh, it's not good enough for, for them to just turn off the TV. They have to press the button to turn off the satellite itself as well. Like, um, they feel like it's a waste of electricity or something if you don't turn off everything completely. So, um, back in the day, you know, with uh, PlayStation 2, even PlayStation 3, or even, uh, you know, uh, all the way up to, like, Wii, I want to say, right? Like, even, I don't, I don't know about Wii U. I haven't had a Wii U, but... Like all those game, all those systems, you couldn't just turn off and then turn back on and immediately go back to your game. That is a luxury we have nowadays. You know, that is something very new to these uh, these uh, the fourth generation consoles or whatever generation we're in. I don't even know if it's fourth. I think it's fourth, right? Let's see, Pete. Well, yeah, yeah, PlayStation Four. Uh, I don't know, so somewhere around there. <laughs> it's fourth for Sony, so I, I got it right somewhere. What the fuck is following? Or what the hell is following me? Another quarter. This is not a good game to be doing this with. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get 
so much uh, cuss words going in on here from these enemies. Uh, oh, here we go. That's what's that's what's making that noise. That thing is scary. Oh wait, I should probably turn down the the volume a little bit as well. I turned it way the hell up <laughs> just so that you could hear the dude talk. All right, all right, all right. Hopefully nothing comes after me while I'm putting my my uh, chats back up. Here we go. Okay. Whew. All right. All right. Daddy Gamer says, "Gotta unplug it. Then uh, gotta unplug it. Then power is still going to it unless it's a surge protector." Yeah. Wait. Wait. Uh, Daddy Gamer says, "In in that case, he's very chill with uh, maybe not talking to me." And I go, "She's talk." In that case, he's a very chill with some dude just <laughs> staring at him and goes goes just talking. Okay, talking about the dude that was uh, giving me that information <laughs> just because his mouth wasn't moving. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's, uh, let's figure out what I'm doing. Let's figure out if I could, uh, get my, get my controls back, get my, uh, Jesus, get my game back. I've been focused, I've been so focused on the, on the chat that I'm not focusing anything on, uh, oh, Jesus, e that was, uh, that was a gamble, and I lost. Been focusing so hard on the chat that I'm not paying attention to the game at all. I mean, but sometimes that's just how it's got to be, you know? You know what? I feel like this is actually familiar. But, no, because there'd be, there'd be like three ghosts around here if this is where I thought it was. I think I might be going backwards. I, I don't know. Oh, okay. So, yeah, there's another ghost right there. Ghost dude. I used to be really afraid of those guys because they used to be like powerful as all hell. Mm, see, this is what I mean though. There's so many, so many freaking uh, locations you can go to. Uh, let's see. Card King says that this is uh, the church square. Oh, hey, we got Mushi in the chat as well in the in the YouTube chat. What's up, Mushi? Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate that. Some good stuff. Uh, but yeah, Card King says this is the church square. Um, Mushi said, hello friends, how goes y'all's Friday so far? My, my Friday's going pretty good, Mushi, how you doing? How's, uh, how's your Friday treating ya? I actually went to Sonic today and got me, uh, uh, freaking cherry nerd slushy. Ooh, those are my favorite on hot days like this. I can run, right? How the hell do I run? Thick cold blood. No, that's not running. X? No. L2? Oh, no. That's my gun. Forgot I could do that. Okay. No, just, just making sure I have uh, some of these controls down a little better. Circle? There we go. That's how we run. Okay. 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 Jump. Dodge. Triangles for health. Squares to use my pebble. Okay. Cool. I'm feeling a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. Feeling a little bit better about myself and my, my abilities. Okay. Okay, so we're in the church square, as Card King has said. I feel like I opened that. I feel like I pressed that to open this. So this might be going backwards here. You know, this does this does itch the memory a little bit. I feel like I have walked through that before. I'm pretty sure that would be going backwards. So I think Card King might have been right. I think we are going backwards from where we were. I must have talked to the ghost man before. I must have, uh, I don't know. I feel like going up there was the way I was, yeah, okay, okay. I, I think I have an idea of what's, what's what, somewhat, what's what in the butt. I don't know. <laughs> oh, get out of here. Oh, see, this is a, this is a shortcut right here. I'm pretty sure that that's, a, that's a shortcut to something. So that would be going backwards as well. Oh, you son of a gun. You. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get I'm gonna get gangbanged over here. Th okay, I know exactly where I'm at. This is the gangbang spot. This is where I got gangbanged on plenty of times before. Plenty of times. Okay, we are going backwards. We are going backwards. Oh, God. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the heck? How did I get over here? Where is my where's the stairs that brought me here? How did I get so turned around so quick? These aren't the stairs. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna get gang banged even harder. Oh god, 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 oh god. Okay, okay, why are you not going away? Go away! There we go. <laughs> the freaking, not the monster, but the, the items that I was looking at. Did I fall down here? No, I didn't fall down here. I don't know what the hell's going on anymore. Oh, you son of a gun. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that was a bad, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Went the wrong way. Hey, we got Travis Keys in the in the Twitch chat. What's up, Travis Keys? Thank you so much for joining us. Says I've been here. I'm cleaning whilst watching. Nice. Hell yeah, I'm glad I could give you a little bit of uh, some background entertainment for sure. That's definitely sometimes the best entertainment. You know, the type of uh, shit that get. Oh, there's another quarter. Uh, the type of stuff, the type of stuff that gets you through your your chores or your. Uh, your, you know, your daily, your daily schedule. I, I find that to be the best entertainment. Anything that I listen to while driving in the car, while, you know, doing ma mundane tasks, stuff like that. It's the best. It's the best. I'm, I, I've been getting really addicted to the Joe Rogan podcast. Like, right before I was streaming today, uh, I was watching the episode with him and Nick Swordson. And, uh, it was, it was some good stuff. Really good stuff. It wasn't as funny as I would expect it to be, but it was more, more, uh, like, uh, theoretical. Like, they were talking about some, like, deep stuff, you know, more, more than comedy, you know. It was more, uh, more about, like, the world and stuff like that. I mean, there was some funny parts. It was definitely had some hilarious things to it, but, uh, yeah, definitely some crazy stuff. I really love when, he, uh, he talks to doctors and, like, professionals or, like, arch one of them I watched was with an arche archaeologist. Archaeolog Why can't I say that? Archaeologist. Archaeologist? Arch archaeologist? Why does that not sound right? Yeah, but uh, they were talking about how the how how the oh, this is backwards too. Right? Yeah, cuz there's all these dudes with guns. There's there's going to be a dog somewhere around here. There's actually a couple dogs. If this is where I think it is, this is going backwards too. This is going more backwards than where I was earlier. Yeah, yeah, there's the dogs. Okay, okay. Yeah, this ain't the way I want to go either. <laughs> but yeah, the pyramids. Um, they, they was talking about how the Sphinx heads... Oh, actually, I remember that trap too. I remember that. They were talking about the Sphinx. Uh, it, the head doesn't match up to the, the body. It's smaller than the body. So they think that the Pyramid of Giza... Or no, the Sphinx actually is a. It might be a little bit older than what people think. Like it might be much older than than what orig than first originally thought. And a lot of that was really crazy to me. I couldn't believe it. Oh come on! Why is my? Why can I not get my damn? There we go. There we not go. E and he kills me. We kill each other. Oh my god. Man, it's, it's going to be a tough day today, guys. <laughs> I'm just not recognizing it. Things are getting weird. <laughs> ah, no worries, though. We'll get it. We'll get it. Um, let's see. Card King had said, follow the man holding the torch. Oh, and watch out for that tree. <laughs> My bad, dude. It uh, says, okay, just go straight from the spawn point. Okay, follow the dude with the torch. But wait, no, no, no. That's, that's where I said, that's where I, said uh, I was going backwards, though. Cause I have I've already been through there. I had I I beat the the boss that was over there. I believe. Right? Is is oh man? I don't know. It's hard to say. I can't remember exactly where we were. Cause I do remember that trap coming coming for me, and I do remember all those uh, all those enemies down there. I don't remember if I. I'm pretty sure I had beat whatever was over there. Hmm. Not 100 though. Yeah, cause I know I do remember this trap being here. I do remember having to leave. Okay, I think we have to go a different direction at the at the church square. I'm pretty sure that's what needs to happen, cause I I've gone that way. I dealt I dealt with everything that was over there. So now we got to go for the next objective, whatever's next after that. Oh come on! I didn't have enough. No 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 no! Do not do not kill me again. <laughs> Ah, my dodges need to be more on par. I'm too, I'm too used to the God of War dodging. Too used to the other mechanics, not the, not these uh, tough Souls games. 
it, it's so much different. So much different. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Mushi says, heading out now. See y'all. No worries, Mushi. We'll see you next time. And Logan says, we are packing up uh, to head to the hospital. Oh, damn. Well, no worries, Logan. Definitely some crazy stuff. Good luck with everything, man. I hope everything goes well. And, uh, yeah, some good stuff. I'm, I'm excited for you, buddy. Definitely some good stuff. Uh, let's see. Card King says, unless you beat three ninjas, you didn't beat this area. Hmm. Daddy Gamer says archaeolo archaeologist. Yeah, archaeologist. That's there we go. That's what that's what I was trying to say. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but let's see, three nin ninjas. I don't remember. Wait, well, for the next place, uh, for the next place next to the cathedral, you'll need the tonsil stone. Let's see if we have that. I don't remember fighting ninjas, but uh, you know that sounds like something I'd remember if I played this. So maybe we didn't get through it all the way. I would need the what? Tonsil stone? Uh, what would that be? Like a key, right? Got the Odin tomb key. Rune shop workshop. Oh, nope. Don't have the tonsil thing. I don't believe. So maybe... Maybe we didn't get through there. Maybe where I'm at was... Uh, the stopping point. Maybe that's where I couldn't get any further or something. I'm not too sure. We'll find out though. We'll find out. Uh, Card King says, and if you go there at your level, you will get chewed up and spit out. Ooh, sheesh, that's no bueno. Um, yeah, let's see. We'll, we'll keep going. We'll keep going this way and try to figure out what's going on here. Because I could have swore that was backwards. Because I, I could kind of remember where everything was. But uh, at the same time, that might be a different spot. Because a lot of these, a lot of these enemies get used up multiple times. You know, like you. You see a lot of these uh, same guys all over the place. So, you know, saying there was a few guys and a couple dogs in one spot doesn't necessarily mean <laughs> I've been there, been through there before. That just means there's more guys with with dogs. <laughs> like, you know, that's that's it. Just gets used the same way. See, okay, so yeah, now that I come down here, this doesn't look like what I thought it was. So maybe, yeah, maybe I'm just. I'm probably thinking this was another spot, so okay. This this does make a little more sense to me now, because this doesn't look as familiar as I thought it did. Nope, stay away, stay away, let's... Oh, the dog got killed by the freaking fire. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. Dog, get away from me, dog. Why am I so bad at this all of a sudden? Probably because I haven't played for months. For like like two or three months, I would say. But usually, usually those uh, usually those skills don't leave me so easily. May I? I feel like it, it could be because of the God of War stuff. I feel like uh, you know, I didn't. Whoa, this is a gun too. No way. I feel like uh, the type of uh. Dodging on God of War doesn't have that tight, that tightness that uh, that Bloodborne or, or uh, Dark Souls would have. So maybe that's why I'm a little rusty, or, or maybe I'm just making up excuses. Nice. Well, that broke through his uh, his guard. Didn't expect that one. You know what? I feel like this isn't the usual. Yeah, this isn't my usual. Weapon, there we go. <laughs> I thought that spear was a little weird. Oh, Jesus, freaking fire scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I was like, whoa, what was that? I do not like these guys. Oh, come on. I was, I had enough room for the first one, which was very surprising. So I, I expected to at least be able to hit him with the second one. That was a little odd. Oh yeah, come on down him. That's probably why I'm messing up because I didn't have my freaking my axe out. Damn spear is way weaker than this axe. I'm pretty sure. What is that? I hear something coming after me, and it's scary. It sounds scary. It sounds big too. Where is it? Ooh, I do not want that thing to sneak up on me, dude. And then I see all these these ghosts of other freaking players that freaking me out. Dude, no, come on. The sounds of this game, uh-uh, no. 
This game probably freaks me out a lot more than any of the Souls games. This one has those types of uh, enemies that just, ugh, they just, they're, they're creepy. They're disgusting. They, they're, they're just completely freaky. Very, very freaky. Very weird. Um, let's see. Card King says, you need to go to the village, uh, straight past the bridge, find the window lit with the red light, and talk to the person behind it. They will give you the stone. Hence why I play this game on mute. <laughs> right? Yeah, because of how scary it is. I get that. I get, oh, shoot. I get that big time. Uh-oh. Okay, so we need to find a house in the village with some red light. Man, I couldn't play this on mute, though. Either way, it would freak me out. Because uh, if I play it on mute, then things might sneak up on me. And then I'll start jumping from things that came out of nowhere, you know? You know what? Let's, let's put this back down. Oh, damn. Okay, okay. I thought the I thought the hunchback of Notre Dame over there heard me. I don't think they could hear your stuff, though. I think they only have, like, a, like if they get hit or if you're close enough. I don't think they hear sound. It's just more of a, what I just said, sound and getting hit. Or not sound, uh, freaking getting hit and or, or ordinance, you know, as close as you are. See, because these other two still aren't doing anything. Oh, maybe they can hear me. Huh. Weird. That is, that is very cool. <laughs> I, I kind of wanted to test that. Didn't realize. Ah, big dudes don't get, they don't get, uh, they don't stumble. Okay, okay, turn this back on. Get big. Get big. Oh, come on, really? Did he throw a Molotov at me, or what What happened there? What What had happened was, what, what happened? Oh, God. That was kind of a gamble. Every freaking... Nice. Call me an accursed beast. Every uh, big hit that I try to take is always a gamble. Always a gamble. Oh, wait, wait. Do not stand on stuff like that anymore, Stoney. What is wrong with you? Dude, all of this, that is crazy. I can't believe I didn't fall down there. Maybe this one doesn't break, but I'm still a little skeptical about that. Very scary. Where am I? I'm freaking out. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Adios says, oh, sounds like the Reaper. Oh, wait, sound wrong game. <laughs> oh, hell no. Uh, let's see, Card King says, okay, slight correction. Follow the path by these guys. You will see a hill on your left with, your, with yellow flowers. Walk up the hill and follow it to the window with the red light. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so a hill with yellow flowers. Let's see here. Oh, God, what is that thing? That is scary. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't... Oh, I didn't think about the fire. I don't know why. Fire is a big thing in these games. Did that wall disappear? Or was it... Wait... That kind of messed with my mind a little bit. That wall wasn't there at first when I first looked at it. But then as I was dying, there was a wall there. But then once we came to this loading screen, it looked like it was like coming back up. That was weird. That was odd. I don't know. Um, Card King says, oh, you're already in the village. Okay, so we just got to go back there. No worries, dude. No worries. Um, Daddy Gamer says, whoops. <laughs> Right? Yeah, that type of stuff will happen. You know what? I probably remember that uh, that trap up here probably by getting hit by it or something. That must have been... I think this is like the furthest I went or something. Like I must have went past the trap, saw those enemies there, and I was like, well, F that. We'll end the stream right here or something. You know, I feel like that's something I would have done. So yeah, this does make sense why I would uh, kind of think it's backwards, but now that we've been down here, realize it's not. God damn it! Man, I do not like these guys. <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm looking for. He fell through the floor. That's not what I was looking for, but killing him was. Is this like a way around these guys? Yes. Yes, it is. Looks like it. Still a little uh, prehensive about doing this, though. A little Chris Hansen about this. Did he see me? No, he didn't. <laughs> uh, anything to cheat the system. What is that thing? That thing is weird. That's like... Th those are like cr the crystal lizards, right? Get it. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. I don't even care if the... If these crows get me, as long as they don't kill me. Do not kill me, crows. That'll be the most embarrassing thing today. Getting killed by these crows. I'm pretty sure these little weird things are like are like the crystal lizards in uh, Dark Souls 3. 
There we go. Love hearing that gasp of, of breath from the enemies. That final gasp. <laughs> yeah. Card King says, kill it. It has good stuff, right? Okay, I thought so. I thought that's what those were. And that, don't, that like, it, 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 it kind of seems obvious just being like Dark Souls 3. Uh, the Crystal Lizard is the only thing that will run away from you and not try to attack you. <laughs> and so that's exactly what this thing was doing, you know. And it's kind of the same thing. It's a little bug on all fours. You know, weird stuff like that. So wait, is there another way to go to that place? Does did falling through there was that what was uh, necessary? Is that what had to happen? I don't know. Let's do it again. Wait, 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 wait. There's some yellow flowers here. Okay, okay, okay. I see. I see what you're talking about with yellow flowers and stuff. All right. What's up? What's up, buddy? Just gotta kill you before you get to kill me. Oh hey. gotta roll through you know roll out my homies oh yeah oh yeah oh you know what I actually uh, I actually went and uh, washed my truck today went to the car wash and stuff like that and I did something today that I haven't done in a long time like probably since I was in high school um, I, I actually listened to first of the month by bone thugs on the first of the month <laughs> uh. Like, I don't know, that was a big thing for me and my friends when we were younger. And, uh, yeah, doing it again brought back a lot of memories, a lot of nostalgia and stuff like that. Ah, it was hilarious. I, I cracked up. It was funny. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Like, another thing I like to do with songs and stuff. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was close. So, there's this song uh, called Broadway by SPM. And anytime on I'm on like I go on Broadway Street here in Denver, I'll always put that song on. Always, I, I do that to this day. Like he, like I did that when I was younger. I do that to this day. <laughs> Fucking trap. Oh, there's another quarter. Um, Card King says, "Hang another left." All right, to the left, to the left. <laughs> oh God, these things are alive. It's alive. Oh, you piece of shite. I guess that's... T oh, dude, someone just shot at me as I freaking moved, as I uh, jumped out of the way. I guess... I guess shite would technically be a cuss word. Especially if we were in... Uh, what, what, what would it be? If we were in... Uh, not Greenland. Not Finland. Scotland? Yeah, yeah, Scotland. I'll, I'll throw two in for those. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see y'all. Yeah. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Can I break this? Nope. Wait, wait. So when I was here, hang another left, right? Okay. Man, this is really creepy town here. Like, all of this weird stuff. Dead people all over the place. And, uh... You know, the, the thing about the Souls games and stuff like that... Oh, P. Hansen says England. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. England, England would be the, the spot as well. But uh, the things about Souls games and stuff like this... Uh... It, it's really weird how they don't really tell you anything about the story. But you still get quite a bit of what's going on from context but in this game there's a lot of stuff missing from my head like uh the hunter's dream and stuff like i kind of get it i kind of understand what what's well not even really i guess i couldn't explain it to somebody if they asked me what was happening i really wouldn't be able to say much oh my god that thing got me it actually got me oh damn it's a good thing i came up here i think uh oh Mm, what the heck? Why aren't you dead, Crow? Why are you, like, on zero health but still alive? That makes no sense to me. And that that's actually something I remember from playing this. Every single time I almost kill somebody, they don't die. They, they, they keep a little tiny bit of health that makes it look like they're dead, but they're not. Always happens. Whoa. That freaking dog had a... Had a... Crow on his back. It looked like the crow was running across the ground. It scared me. Do I gotta go back the way I came? 
I don't want to go that way. There's there's a dog there. It's, it's protecting its area. Okay. 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 All right. Where is he? Where is he? We're going to slam down on him if he's... Oh, there's two of them. That's not good. I got one. <laughs> nice. Come on. Come at me. Yeah, what's up? Oh, uh, up your ass. There we go. There we go. At least we fell down on one. <laughs> Uh, card game says, there it is. Where, uh, -oh. I, I might have missed it. Might have missed it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I thought you meant, like, uh, I don't know. I thought you meant something else, I guess. It's hard for me to hear. I'm sure it's hard for you guys to hear. More than I can count. A veritable hunt unending. Not even death offers solace. And the blood imbibes you. <laughs> A most frightful fate. Oh my. But I'm willing to do you a kindness. Step like Hey, we got Emmy in the chat. What's up, Emmy? And he says, hey, yo. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate that. Take a hit for you. Gift of the Godhead will grant you strength. Yes. I'm unquestionably certain. <laughs> there we go. That tonsil stone, what we're looking for. Hey, we got Luis Barrientos in the chat as well. What's up, Luis? Hell yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining. I appreciate it. Some good stuff. Um, take a hit for you as well, Luis. Nice. Ooh, it's getting cashed. I'm going to have to reload that here in a second. But today I'm smoking some cookies and cream. Um, and we're also doing the Cuss Jar Donation Week this, uh, this week as well. So any cuss words I say uh, cost 25 cents that I put in my little jar here. Oops, I didn't mean to come talk to this guy again. But, um, yeah, and uh, so far, it looks like I've cussed quite a bit. <laughs> There's at least, like, ten in there. Probably more than that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, some good stuff. And any direct donations we get for today, or, well, for this week, uh, are going to go towards the foundation as well. We're going to be do donating it to the F Cancer Foundation. And uh, I have uh, more information about that in the description below, or, or actually the website. Uh, but yeah, some good stuff. Well, actually, I think I did put the full amount of uh, information in in the description for YouTube, Twitch. I still haven't learned everything about Twitch yet, so um, still learning. But uh, yeah, uh, for Twitch, I think it's just the name of the stream. I don't think it's anything besides that. I kind of want to figure out what's down here. There's something down there. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Card King says, so if you want to use that stone, teleport to the Cathedral Lantern and hang a left as soon as you step outside. But I would suggest you keep following this path. All right. No worries, Card King. No worries. And uh, thanks for the advice. I definitely appreciate it. Sorry, I'm free. I, I always have to break stuff whenever I, uh, whenever I see it in these games, especially... Ah. I didn't think it would break past that point. Holy crap. That was, uh, that was a large trap right there. A lot bigger than I expected it to be. That was... Well, I mean, I guess I should have guessed because the freaking... The planks were there. Like, it, it made sense if it was uh, going to break. I wanted to come down here anyway. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was probably going to trap... I was going to probably set the trap eventually. <laughs> Uh, Emmy said, thought this would be nice to chill to. Just got in from work and crawled into my hole, a.k.a. bed. Hope everyone is doing good. <laughs> nice. No worries, Emmy. And uh, heck yeah. Good. Uh, glad you get to uh, chill out from a, day, a hard day at work. I definitely know how that is. And uh, I'm glad I could uh, bring you some of that. Oh, you bring you some of that entertainment that, uh, that y'all deserve, you know? Some good stuff. I appreciate that. And, uh, I don't know, <laughs> Bloodborne, definitely, uh, oh, come on, I wasn't, I wasn't watching my health, I'm, I'm very rusty, very, very rusty, I haven't played Bloodborne or Dark Souls or, or Neo or, oh no, that's a lie, I played, uh, I played The Surge very recently, but The Surge is very different from this game, 
it's the same but different how can that be it just is <laughs> well you guys will find out when we play that next time uh but uh besides that i haven't really been playing souls like games you know and uh i uh, i could tell i am very 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 rusty but we'll we'll get it we'll get there uh Card King says, might I suggest you do the side dungeons with the chalice? Good chance to level up. I was actually wondering how those chalices worked. I wasn't too sure if I should keep it or if it did something, you know, or if it was like a, like something to like level up, you know, I, 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 I really wondered what it did. So I never used it, but I do, I know I do have like a couple chalices. So yeah, that might be something to do. That definitely might be something to do. All right, kill these dudes. We're gonna. We're also gonna. No, don't press the wooden. Don't. Don't do that. That is a trap. But uh, yeah, uh, we we could definitely keep going down this path. Keep. Uh, well, first of all, go get my stuff back, and then, uh, like you said, continue down and figure out what the heck is going on around here. Oh, I hate those things. I hate those things. The damn hunchbacks of Notre Dame. Those things are freaking difficult to deal with sometimes I mean compared to those guys those guys just take two hits right there see like when when your health is right here like in the spot where it is for me that's a difficult time to choose whether you wanna whether you wanna use a health vial or not just because it, it's a little bit of a waste you know but if you don't you could die really quickly so I don't know I think I'm just gonna do it Okay, maybe it's not a waste. Maybe it was a little bit further than I expected. I thought I would gain more health than that. So, yeah. No, it was a good thing I did that. Okay, so the trap was gone. I came back up. I, one of these guys has my souls, huh? The dude, Yeah, that dude right there. He has them. Okay. Figuring out what I'm going to do here. Getting my strategy on. Got him. Isn't there a hunchback over here? I could have swore I saw a hunchback. There we go. Push you back. And slap you. Oh, damn. That was not right. I didn't think he would be able to come come at me so close, so quickly. So closely. <laughs> there we go. That wasn't so much of a gamble. I did that just right. Ooh, and we got us another blood vial. I should have probably used one before I picked that up. That way, I could have had full health and full blood vials. I'm going to do it. Ah, wrong button. I press square, then circle, then triangle. <laughs> Man, I swear. Uh, let's see. Uh, Card King says, The altars in the hunter's dream, the ones on the left, you keep the cup if you use them, and they open whole side dungeons that are really fun. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah, I didn't know that at all. Well, definitely, once we... Oh, no, 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 no. This is the, this is the fucking spot. Oh, we need to throw another quarter in the jar, too. This is that spot. The spot with the damn Maltavers. And then this, this creepy ass witch that, that uh, takes my attention every time. Dude, I hate when I hear the whispering in this game. Like, you can only hear that whispering when you have uh, headphones on, but there's always, like, a subtle whisp whisper. And I'm hearing, I'm actually hearing voices now. That's not good. I'm hearing voices, guys. <laughs> there's people in these houses. Scary. It freaks me out. Okay. Maltovers. Or maybe it's this house. I hear somebody talking. Okay, just keep running. There's not much I could do right now. And I do not want to get Maltovered. Don't want to get Maltovered and don't want to get munched on by these these river zombies, whatever they are. Nah, they're getting Maltovered. Ah, this might be overkill. Oh, no, no, no. It's a hunchback. What am I thinking? Oh, thank God. That was close. That was a gamble. That one was a straight gamble. Get what he has. There you go, buddy. There you go. Ariel says, hearing voices, that's never good. <laughs> right? Definitely. Uh, Card King says, yes, people. <laughs> right? They, I guess they might not be people. <laughs> Uh, considering everything that we've like ran into from this game so far I don't know if you could call them people all of them are much eviler than that much scarier than that where is this leading to is this leading backwards 
Back to the main trap? It is, huh? Yeah, whoa, whoa, okay. I didn't even see this over here. I didn't even, wow. I love that. I love that for these games, how they bring a lot of these uh, shortcuts in uh, out of the way, air, like out of the out of the way uh, spaces, you know, like where you wouldn't, where you normally wouldn't like catch them. Cause I, I walked straight past this. I didn't know that this was even here. And I did, I do that a lot in the surge as well. The surge has some some really weird ways on making uh, shortcuts like that. Cause uh, it's all like futuristic, you know. So there's elevators and stuff like that. There's uh. You know, just crazy ways that make you go in circles. And sometimes if I don't know the area well enough, I'll just keep going in circles, you know. I'll get lost. <laughs> it happens. It happens too much. Too many times has that happened. Oh, what's up? What's up? You want to mess with me? Oh, gunfight. Nah, that, that, that accomplishes nothing. Oh, nice. He put his shield down right on time. Right on time for me to freaking smash him with my whirlwind attack. It's not nice to shoot at people. Ah, oh, that wasn't. Oh, nice. We both missed. <laughs> Anytime I make that face, it's a gamble. Got me some more bullets. Bullet bullets. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Can we go into this house, I wonder? No? Yeah, no. That doesn't look... That doesn't look too inviting. Not one bit. But how do... How do they get inside there? <laughs> How does anybody live in there? Man, this would be such a, like, scary world to live in. Like, I would... Oh, that would just be the worst. That would be my literal hell, you know? Like, hell would be... Oh, my. Holy crap. That was huge. Oh, yeah. Cannons. Okay. My hell would literally be the protagonist as a in a Souls game. Oh, God. That was not smart. That was not smart at all. S-M-A-R-T. Hidden path awaits ahead. Is this? No, this isn't. I was gonna say, is this the spot where I open the door? But it's not. Where is this? I'm surprised I didn't just walk past this. Especially with that enemy there. Usually I engage in combat right away. <laughs> P. Hansen says it's Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Dr. Pepper is the voice I'm hearing in my head. <laughs> uh. Where is he? There he is. Oh, you son of a gun. Oh, no way. Did that kill me? Aw. Oh, bull crap. Oh, jeez. Those those cannons ain't nothing to mess with. Oh, my. Oh, me. Oh, my. That is crazy. All right. All right. I'm going to grab me another soda real quick. I was like, speaking of Dr. Pepper, I'm thirsty. <laughs> uh, man, those cannons. Are you serious? Are you schnittious? Jesus. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Let's see here. I ain't even gonna mess with any of these other guys. Oh. Okay, I didn't touch it. I thought I did. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, son of a gun. Man, if I would have hit that trap, that really would have not have went well. Well, I got him once. There we go. Perfect. Two shots. That's how I like it. Call me, call me uh, Two Shot Charlie. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, know. I, I, I don't enjoy the, the name Charlie for some reason. Like, I mean, if, if your name's Charlie, cool. No, no, nothing against you or anything. It's just, ah, uh, not, not my, not my name. <laughs> uh. Wouldn't name my child that. If I had a child. Man. I hate all of these freaking uh, Dark, Dark Souls. Uh, Bloodborne enemies. All of them are very annoying if you don't know how to deal with them. Eee. Especially those Maltovers. I hate the dudes with the... I hate any of the projectile people. The pro oh, you son of a gun. The, anybody with a projectile is my worst enemy in this game. Okay, okay, just keep running. Just keep running. Oh god, oh god, oh god, where's where's the hidden where's the hidden passage? Oh god. Oh hey, you have my souls. Nice. Thank you. I appreciate that. Glad it wasn't the dude with the freaking cannon that had my souls. I'd I'd been a little upset. 
Oh, hey. Here's this, too. Oh, this is, this is, okay, okay. This is the, oh, nice. It, it extends, it extends through multiple houses. So I just kind of, <laughs> that was stupid. I passed through it and uh, kind of went backwards through it instead. Hey, it worked. I got my stuff back. If I, if I hadn't done that, I probably uh, would have missed that. Uh, oh, hell no, someone just shot at me. I would have missed that chance to get my souls back. Okay, okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna make the dude shoot his his load real quick. Come on, shoot your cannon. Oh, 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 get out of there. Now we going, now we running. Come on, come on. And the beast keeps running, running, run, running, running. There we go. Oh god. Oh ho, ho, ho. Mm. Yes, still got my health back. Can I can I shoot it? Yes! Ha! <laughs> Y'all are dead now. Okay, maybe not. How do I aim it? How do I make it... Can I make it go further? No? How did he make it go so far? That's not fair. I'm not even going to deal with it. I have too many... Too many souls at the moment. <laughs> uh, P. Hansen says, It's an old-fashioned execution technique called blowing from a gun. <laughs> oh, hell no. Uh... Card King says, never figured out how the stationary cannons work. Right, yeah, that's weird. That, that seems really weird. And then asks, uh, oh, do you have a fear of snakes? Not so much uh, fear of them. I mean, like, if they're poisonous or whatever, yeah, I'm not going to mess with them. Uh, but, uh, like, I could hold one if, if need be, you know. I could be around one. Like, I don't have a, I'm not afraid of them like I'm afraid of spiders, you know. Like, uh, when I was a little kid, I went to the Denver Butterfly P Pavilion, and they had a section where you could hold a tarantula. And I don't know how I did it as a, as a kid being that age. Oh, you know what? I should turn down the gameplay a little bit. I apologize. I keep turning it up so you guys could hear the, uh, the people talking and stuff. But now you probably can't hear me when I run into stuff. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know how I did it as a kid, but I was able to hold a tra the tarantula in my hand without being too afraid of it. Like I, I've always been afraid of spiders, but when I got that chance, I went, I went for it. Kind of faced my fear when I was a little kid. But nowadays, you you ask me to hold a tarantula or any type of spider, alive or dead, I I don't care if it's been dead for two months. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not I'm not gonna go around it. I'll still use a piece of like a big old hand wrapped in toilet paper to pick it up <laughs> I, I don't know i just i do not like spiders not one bit big small i don't care what they are if it's a spider it's not for me what is that thing oh, okay i see why <laughs> I, I just i see why you you ask okay <laughs> now something like that that is that's pretty freaky i don't like that <laughs> uh. Like Medusa too. Like Medusa is a little freaky, but she doesn't. She doesn't cause uh, fear in me like a spider would. This guy doesn't do that either, like a spider. But that is still that is still really weird. I don't like that. Ugh. I wouldn't touch him either. <laughs> oh hell no. Oh, it gives you poison. Oh man, that's messed up. <laughs> uh. Card King says, oh no, not arachnophobia. The last part of this game is going to be torture then. Ah, that's horrible. Like, even spider webs I don't like. If I if I get a spider web on me or something, I will panic. But yeah, definitely some crazy stuff. I know in uh, Dark Souls 1, uh, from, watching, uh, from watching Craig play, well, from Game Attack, you know, um, I remember them fighting that spider queen that freaking Bolin's all attracted to. I like the whole time watching. I was like, I don't care how sexy the human half of that that spider queen is. I would not come close to her. I would not touch her. I wouldn't. I would not even walk through that spider web infested hallway. You know, I would not go anywhere near that. No way. No way in hell. You you couldn't pay me to do it. <laughs> and yeah, some crazy stuff. I wouldn't care if that spider lady had a human vagina. Not even close. I'm, I'm not coming close to it. Not one bit. <laughs> oh, it's not. It's not operative. Operate. Op operable. There we go. Uh, there's. I just cannot say my words today. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> uh, Louis says there is a game. I think. 
is it on MMO that at some point you hear the game saying your game your in game name, especially through headphones. Does anyone know what game it is? Oh, I know what you're talking about, uh, Luis. Uh, I can't remember what it is, but it's like it's like a Sims game, I believe. You know, like uh, I'm pretty sure it's one of those games where you play God. And yeah, like every so often, it 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 doesn't go for your in-game name. It goes through your your computer's uh, your computer's data. You know, it goes through the files and looks for what might be closest to what your name is. You know, like if they have it on file. Like for me, throughout my life, I've never seen a video game that had the name Fernando in it. So that probably wouldn't work for me. But uh, yeah, I know there is a game like that. Definitely know there's a game like that. Oh, get away from me, spider dude. You, you, that thing is freaky. I don't like that thing. There's too many of them. It reminds me of a spider, is what it is. Oh, you son of a gun. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. We're not anywhere near a damn bonfire, so this is not good. Oh, there we go. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. Right there. Perfecto. Man, I don't like this. I don't like this house either. This house is very scary. <laughs> yeah. Card King says, welcome to the land of the serpents. <laughs> nice. It's like, welcome to Jurassic Park. Except with uh, multiple headed uh, serpent dudes. Freaking spider, not spider, uh, snake dudes. Snake something, whatever they are. Medusa, no, oh, no, no, Medusa's hair is snakes, huh? Yeah, okay. I was thinking, like, Medusa had, like, a snake head and, like, snake, I, I don't know what I was thinking at first, but it's, it's snake hair now that I remember it. And that just seems even weirder. Like, how do you comb that? <laughs> what, what if she braids it? Is she gonna suffocate him? Uh, these are the questions. Hmm, <laughs> I don't know what this does, and I don't want to find out, but... Uh-oh. Let's go for it. <laughs> oh, okay. This is this is the thing I was just looking for, right? Okay, yeah. That was where I was. This was just No, this is a whole nother place. What the hell? See, this is what I talk this is what I mean about like uh continuously getting turned around and like going in circles and stuff. I constantly forget. I constantly lose my surroundings. Who is this guy? Looking like a KKK dude over here, reverse KKK. Ah, a new face, are you? Yes. And an accomplished hunter, I would think. <laughs> I am Volker. Master. Oh, nice. Okay, thanks, Card King. Cleanse the streets of all that filth that spread about during the hunt. P. Hansen says, Welcome to die. <laughs> Alright, let's do it, mate. Yes. As a hunter, well should. Come in, start. Our own cowl room. Symbol of the league. Huh. That's cool. That's crazy. Night brims with their vile strong and is permeated by their rotten stench. Just this dude does not like those snakes. <laughs> kill to your heart's content. Yeah. No, oh, this this dude knows how to give a speech. Man, I'm pumped up to kill those spider or those 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 snake sons of a guns. <laughs> Louise says it's true. It goes through the PC usernames and whispers the name. It's so creepy. I think it was in a Watch Mojo top ten hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> right? I'm pretty sure you're right. I'm pretty sure that's where I seen it too. Well, not just Watch Mo Mojo, but like multiple different places, because a lot of that gets uh, spread around quite quite a bit. You know, there's there's all kinds of all kinds of top ten list channels and all kinds of video game related media and stuff like that. It's crazy. Excuse me. But um yeah, I, I know I know there is a game like that. I just cannot remember the name and yeah, it is it does seem freaky. I would be really tripped out if that started to happen to me late at night, you know. Did I open that door? 
Because uh, Card King said that it was, uh, yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah, Card King says, uh, you might want to open that door first. Yep, oops, my bad. I thought I went through there. But after uh, I, after I figured out what it was, I was like, okay, we don't need to go through here. <laughs> uh, that was a bad choice. That was poorly executed. But, yeah, okay. So, yeah, this goes right back to this this bridge with the, with the damn, with the damn uh, crows. Nice. Probably a good thing I got you here for this uh, card king, cause yeah, I, I probably wouldn't. Nah, I probably would have with this bridge here and these uh, these crows. I probably would have noticed it was back where I was, but at the same time, I might be stretching it. Like I probably would have got confused at first and went in a circle, but I don't know. It's hard to say. Hard to say. That spot was more noticeable than uh, than most places, you know. But if it looked like uh, everywhere else I've been, I probably would have just went through that door and never looked back. <laughs> huh. I'm sure I've done that to a lot of things in this game already. Man, I do not know. See, like I said, even coming down here, there's three separate paths. Two separate paths. Very, very odd. Uh, let's see. Cardigan says, now you could drop down... To snake land without taking the long way around and the snake li land leads to three ninjas and I uh, might want to go back up and open the door oh yeah to create the shortcut okay cool 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 nice that actually did help quite a bit you know what we should probably uh, we should probably go to the hunter's dream can I see how much it costs to upgrade I forget uh, blood echoes no it doesn't tell you huh like how much the next upgrade costs okay I thought maybe it did, but uh, we should probably go spend our stuff before I lose it. There's been multiple times where I completely forget that that system exists until I die, and then I'll die and die again and completely lose everything. And ah, it's it's the worst feeling. I don't know how, I don't know how Dark Souls did it, but they made uh, losing a game feel even worse than what it already does. You know, <laughs> like Jesus, <laughs> like you you completely like if you lose more than once. And don't get your stuff back. Oh, it's all over. You know, you could have like three or four levels of progress in one death right there. You know, it, it could all just vanish. And that's the worst sometimes. Very, very worst. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it? Very well. Let the egg let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Now shut your mouth. Okay. So we got 3,000. We only needed. We needed, no, we have 31,000. We only needed 10,000. What should we go for? I mean, I'm more of a strength dude. That's the build I usually go for in these games. So maybe, maybe some strength and vitality, endurance. Ooh, that's, a, that's a toughie. Let's say vitality. I get killed pretty easily. My strength is pretty good, though. I, I try to keep endurance, vitality, and strength somewhat uh, even in this game just cuz uh, I don't really use much else I guess I don't know card king says skill all right I'll throw one on skill why not skills pretty low there uh, let's take off the vitality we'll throw it on skill cuz skill might uh, I was I was just looking at that I was thinking that might come in handy eventually tribute governing more nuance physical well oh, see so yeah that would go for our that would go hand in hand with strength it seems like Makes sense. Okay. 43. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, we could either go to the ninjas, or we could probably do this chalice stuff, huh? I say, let's let's go filter out the ninjas and stuff, and then we'll come back and do, uh, do that side stuff. That way, uh, that way we can gain some levels for this next part, since Card King says it's going to be pretty hard. Hey, we got CDI Arcade in the Twitch chat. What's up, CDI? Thank you so much for joining us today, man. I appreciate that. Some good stuff. <laughs> Card King says, <laughs> yeah, filter out the ninjas. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to take them out. All right. Not bad, not bad. Man, I cannot believe how quick my bowl freaking uh, cashed out. This this weed actually burns very quickly, very easily. There we go. That one was a little better. Just had to flip it around a little bit. And Card King says, "Well, I'll have time for a Siggy run, BRB." Yeah, no worries. I know how that is, buddy. Definitely know how that is. Alrighty. 
getting through this terrible hole of madness. See, I would go crazy in a place like this. All these spider webs and stuff. Oh, this would be my ultimate hell. Just being in this house alone would be my ultimate hell. So many spider webs. You know there's all kinds of spiders around. Where there's spider webs, there's freaking spiders. <laughs> so yeah, some scary stuff for me right there. My arachnophobia would be going nuts. I wouldn't be able to sit down. I wouldn't be able to like touch anything you know it would just it would it would drive me mad i would i would have to kick my way out of that house if it was possible but in a place like hell i doubt that would be <laughs> oh i'm trying to search i'm not trying to get away from a frenzied cold blood oh you know what we probably had some uh some blood echoes we could have uh oh crap i didn't mean to do that some blood echoes we could have smashed but it's okay. We're, we're already back on our way. I don't want to go through a, a couple more loading screens again. Dude, what is that thing? Now that's even creepier than the other things. Oh, oops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, there's another one. All right. All right. All right. I'll mess with y'all. Oh, God. That thing is ugly. Look. Oh, my God. It's like a snake with a bunch of teeth. It's like a, it's like a rat king except for snakes. Ugh. That's nasty. You guys know what a rat king is? Don't Google it. <laughs> it's like a bunch of rats that. So rats, when when they have sex, there it's like like a big orgy. Sometime, you know, they get into big piles and big piles, and a lot of the time, their 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 tails wrap around each other. They get stuck and tied into like knots. You know, they get knotted together. And that's what a rat king is. A bunch of freaking rats stuck together that can't get unstuck. It's messed up, man. It's messed up. <laughs> CDI says, spider hell, count me out, right? Oh my, man, I know how that is. CDI also says, a rat king is a second-rate villain in TMNT. <laughs> uh, I would feel that the rat king should be, uh, should be, uh, the sensei, uh, the fucking, oh, damn it, there's another quarter. Oh, I can't remember the sensei's name now. The, tur the turtle sensei, the rat, uh, Master Splinter, you would think that the uh, the Rat King would be his uh, arch arch nemesis. Can't believe I couldn't remember that. That is something that's like ingrained in my DNA. But like I say, guys, whenever I'm doing my streams and stuff, for some reason, when I when I have a word that I want to come out, when I think about it too hard, it just disappears, disappears completely from my vocabulary, from my mind, from everything. It's so weird. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. I got my little doggy here sitting by my lap. He wants to come up. Hold on, bud. Hold on. Let me make sure the snakes aren't going to hurt me. I'll pick you up. I'll give you your five seconds of fame. Your five minutes of fame. There you go, buddy. Say hi. 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 You want to you wanna tell them how you feel about going to the vet pretty soon to get your shots? And then to the, and then to the pet smart to get your hair cut? You want to tell them how you feel? <laughs> oh, you're the silent type, eh? All right, no worries. It's all good. I get you. I'm silent sometimes, too. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, he, I, I'm going to be taking him either either Monday or Tuesday, sometime after this weekend. I, I'm, I have to do it. I have to. His hair is getting so dang long. And it's getting really like knotted and matted in places like there's spots that I can't like even when I bathe him and shampoo him and stuff like I can't get it off by combing him and it hurts him when whenever I try to you know so yeah, it needs to be done he needs to get his hair cut and get everything in order so he's uh so that he's he can become a good looking dog again a good little puppy that I could uh, happily explain his name is baby <laughs> Uh, see P Hansen says hey baby and Jade Valkyrie Dragon says so cute <laughs> and Canucks fan says it's like a sheepdog from Looney Tunes <laughs> right yeah definitely his his hair uh, blocks his face I don't know how he sees like seriously dog how do you see like look at him like you he, he you can barely see his eyes under all that fur like what is that <laughs> oh my god it's so crazy so crazy that thing almost hit me. Oh, it did hit me that time. Oh, I didn't get the little one. Oh, and the big one's still alive. There we go. Nope, 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 nope. I'm out. I'm out. I'm almost poisoned, and I'm out. No! Whoa, 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 what was that? That was scary. 
He like he came at me. No, no, no. Stay back. I got bullets, you son of a gun. <laughs> I've got projectiles. I ain't scared of you. Man, screw that. <laughs> See, Adiel says, "Welcome, baby. See, baby, they do love you." Like I said, it's your five your five minutes of fame. <laughs> He's still sitting on my lap here. He just he doesn't want to get down this time. He's I guess he's comfy. This chair really isn't the is it's really not big enough for the both of us. And like the way I do the streams, he's not like it doesn't seem like he's able to get comfortable while I'm sitting here, but today he seems he found a way. He found a way. I think he knows something's coming up. I think he knows that I'm I'm a little nervous to take him to the vet cuz uh Giving him his shots, I don't know how I'm going to be able to keep him still. He's not one of those dogs that likes to sit still. If I grab him and like try to keep him still for any reason, he starts to he starts to get scared about it, you know. He starts to worry about what's going on. Sincerious thanks. Hmm. Weird. But yeah, and then uh I feel like uh if he feels something like a needle poke him, he's going to jump up and uh, I don't know. It's really getting me nervous. I already checked over here. And uh, after that, everything seems fine. You know, once the once the shots are in, I'll be able to take him to the to a professional groomer. You know, and uh, they'll be able to figure it out. I have I have faith in the professionals. But uh, it's 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 just the me having to hold him during the shot is what's really making me nervous. Cause if something happens and he freaks out at the wrong time and moves, you know, I always, I get freaked out myself whenever I get shots. You know, I always. I always get that thought like what if a random sneeze just pops up when when she's sticking the needle in me or what if what if I have to cough all of a sudden you know and then that freaking that freaking thing s s snaps off and breaks inside me like what do I do <laughs> like you know always always like freaking myself out like that and that's exactly what's going on right now for, with the dog like me thinking about taking him to the vet Oh crap, didn't mean to do that. Baby, you're, you're really distracting me, bud. This is not the type of game that I need a distraction for. There you go, there you go, sit. Good boy, good boy. No, no, don't flip me off. <laughs> uh, man, this is the land of the snakes. What is going on here? How did these things come to be? That is creepy. For any place for, uh, for, uh, Animals to naturally evolve in that sort of way. It's got to be one hellish landscape. That is scary <laughs> uh, CDI says they have people there that can help. Oh nice. Okay, that definitely does help help me uh, qu Quell my fears a little bit definitely Louis says all right real talk is bloodborne better than uh, the Dark Souls games if so What makes it better? I don't think I would say it's better than the Dark Souls games I mean, they are very similar, but there is a lot of differences in them as well, I, I, I like to think. Um, one main difference that I see... Oh my god, what is that thing? Oh my god, that is freaky. Holy crap. One of the main differences I see for this game is uh, the way you... Uh, the way you go about the land, you know? Like, uh, it seems like... Oh my god, this thing is freaky. It seems like uh, there's much more alternate routes that you could take. Like uh, like it, it split, like the paths split a lot in this game. And like I was saying earlier, I always get lost because of that. Like there's, there's always multiple routes you can take. There's always... Oh, that was just a grown-up version of these things. Oh my god, so these are the babies. That's disgusting. But yeah, it seems like there's a lot more areas to explore. Like there's more... Uh, like more of a chance you'll get lost in my opinion but I don't know it is really hard to say I really like Bloodborne but at the same time I like Dark Souls as well I feel like Bloodborne's a little bit harder honestly but um well I guess I would have to say Dark Souls because I've played Dark Souls the whole way through you know and I still haven't beat Bloodborne and I've had it the entire time I've had my PlayStation do I have to do like a certain uh certain gesture Maybe? No? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, there's there's always stuff like that, right? Maybe I don't have the right one. That could also be the thing. I don't know. 
uh, Jade Valkyrie Dragon says, uh, awesome stream. Oh, well, thank you. Um, and then puts a uh, emoji of a hand. Uh, are you leaving, Jade? If so, thank you for coming by. I definitely appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, some good stuff. Thank you. Thank you again, for sure. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Adiel says, dude, they were ta taking blood from me once. And, uh, they, they were taking blood from me once and they couldn't find the vein in my arm. So they pinched me like five or six times in each arm. So you are fine. Oh man. Yeah. I could not, ah, uh, like I'm not, I'm not like bad with, uh, with needles and stuff. It does make me nervous when I'd have to get blood drawn and stuff like that. But it does it. It's not like a fear of mine, but for some reason lately, whenever, like the last time I went to go get my blood drawn, uh, I started fainting like I started blacking out from it, you know, just thinking of it too much And the last time I went and got a tattoo my my Mario tattoo on my arm for some reason that that was also making me fade in and out And I had never been like that every single time I've gotten my tattoos and stuff like I always took it like a champ I always thought it was you know, it, it wasn't that bad, but uh Recently, I, I just can't handle needles like it seems like it's a whole new a whole new world for that type of stuff for me I don't know what it is, but nowadays I just can't handle it. And uh, being poked that many times would freak me the heck out, audio. <laughs> oh man, it's weird. No, I lie. Last time, last time I got blood drawn, I I didn't black out, but that's because uh, the nurse had me lay down while she did it. And uh, the time before that, though, like the the second to last time, was the time I started blacking out from it. Very weird when you black out. Very very weird. The only time I've ever had that happen before was uh, when I cut myself uh, with a knife. Uh, I was helping my mom chop onions or something. And I remember I got myself good enough to make it bleed like quite a bit, but not like not so bad that it had to be like like medically uh, looked at or anything, you know, like a band-aid fixed it. It just bled a lot. And at the time when I seen all that blood come out, uh, I focused on it too much, you know, and it just... I was sitting on my on on the couch and just thinking like oh my god there's a lot of blood like is it gonna stop like oh my god you know like just freaking out and as I'm sitting on the couch my eyes started to shut and I it's like I could feel myself blacking out and my mom yelled at me and she's like mijo well you know that's son in Spanish mijo are you okay you know and like it, it popped me out of it I like looked at her like like stunned you know I was like oh yeah I'm all right and like I'm fine got up and you know that that was the first time I could remember ever feeling that type of feeling and never happened again until this year and this year of uh going to get some blood drawn and getting my Mario tattoo very weird stuff very weird stuff Uh, let's see, CDI says on Twitch, uh, that is pretty horrific about the needles. Oh, yeah, definitely. Adiel for sure. And then Adiel on YouTube says, that's weird. I also took them like a champ, but if that happens to you, don't, don't, don't donate blood ever. <laughs> right? Definitely. I mean, like I said last time with the, with the nurse when she laid me down to, to take my blood, it didn't do what it did before you know i didn't black out again but yeah i definitely don't know how i'll react the next time i'll definitely probably ask if i could lay down from now on whenever whenever i do have to have, have something happen but uh yeah i don't think i'll ever try to recreate the circumstances where i black out because that is an odd feeling i really don't like it and then CDI says, when my son had his surgery, they couldn't find a vein, and they used this device to image his veins and figure out where to go. Oh, man, that's crazy. I didn't even know they had that. Yeah, it seems like a lot of times they can't really find my vein either for a good little while. They usually have to switch arms every so often. Oh, damn, that thing messed me up. Oh, but I still got some of my health back. Oh, man, I, I could have had almost all of it back, but I, I didn't, get them, didn't get them in time. Oh, no, 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 don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh, ho, 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 get back, get back, get back, you don't know me like that. Oh, my God. No, 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 don't, you're not getting me again, buddy. Not after the first time. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, I might be senile. 
dude, come on, baby. What are you doing, bud? And he's literally, he, he, he has his head on the controller. He's laying his head on the controller. It's so cute. I wish I could move the camera to show you guys. Here, watch. I'll scoot back. Maybe you'll be able to see it. <laughs> he got up. He got up as I was scooting. He was like, what's, what's going on? But uh, yeah, he's laying. He he laid his head on on the freaking controller where the sticks were, and I wasn't really able to move it around. I think he wants down now. <laughs> freaking dog! I swear. <laughs> ah. He he's the only dog that I've ever had that's been so damn affectionate, so damn needy, and actually like responds to like the way I talk to him and stuff like that like uh I really get the sense that he understands what I'm saying to him like when I when I talk to him like uh he'll usually move his head like back and forth like this you know but like a lot of the times it really seems like he just knows what I'm what I'm telling him and like any any type of uh command I give him like go outside or sit down or you know what whatever he always listens you know he, like especially when I snap the snap is, is like means now you know and he he knows it he he always like if if he doesn't go for my voice I'll I'll snap and when the snap goes he doesn't mess around he'll He'll uh, he'll do whatever I say, and it's just crazy. It blows my mind because I've never had a dog like that, never. Did I just go in a circle again? No. No. Did I? No. <laughs> See what I mean? This is what I mean by like not knowing my uh, my area. Okay. Oh, okay. I did. I I did go in a circle. Kind of did. Kind of did. Okay. Huh. How did... How did that happen? How did that happen? I'm so confused. <laughs> uh, P. Hansen says, Hashtag bong rip. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah, dude. Some good stuff. Do I gotta just go across here? No. It looks like... Like, I could jump to over there, but there's, it seems to be, like, no reason to do that, so I'm not gonna. Why is there all that wind right there? I know it's to an open door that's, like, up high on a hill and stuff, but that was, like, really loud. It seemed like it was, uh, seems like it's, like, uh, trying to tell me something. I, I'm not sure. I'm a little, little confused. Card King says, go back. Remember to get through Snake Land. Low is the way to go. Okay, I must have just uh, took a detour and came in here. There must be another way to go. Okay, see, yeah, because this probably goes down into Snake Land, I bet. That's probably why I can't bring it up. This is the shortcut to get back. Make that That's what's going on through my head, at least. See, now, now I don't even know how to get out of here. <laughs> uh, I just literally walked through here, Stoney. What's wrong with you, buddy? <laughs> okay. Weird. Very, very weird. Huh. I don't understand. <laughs> Honestly, I'm a little confused. How did that happen? I don't know. I felt like I went, like, a long ways. I, I felt like I was walking for a while, you know, from, from the bonfire or from the, from the lamp. I don't know. That was weird. I must have went in a circle. I must have, uh lost my way yeah i i don't know so odd i I get so confused sometimes <laughs> see there's no no enemies around that means i had to have gone through here right oh there's something around i hear it i heard it i heard it from my i heard it with my own eyes it's up there something's up there sincere thing see yeah because i i read that before let's try praying here Oh, oh, okay, never mind. I was going to say, hey, that fire turned off when I did that, but that's from my from my torch. <laughs> uh, Card King says, uh, don't worry. The only reason I know these places is from grinding on them for tens of hours. Oh, I could imagine, man. I definitely uh, could see me doing that over and over again, like just walking 
this way and then getting turned back around and going straight back to where I was, you know, I could see that happening over and over again without any any help. Oh my god. Oh, come on. I I I panicked. If I wouldn't if I would have been sure of which way I was going to go, I could have straight up missed or that that thing would have straight up missed. Why is this one glowing? Is that one cuz of my no? Maybe it's just venom that's on. I don't know. That's that's hard to say too. Where's the big sp the? I keep call, I keep wanting to call it a spider monster. It's a snake monster. Damn it! Where's the big snake? B the big snake. Where you at, snake? Oh, there he is. There you are. How you feeling? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That was bad. Okay. Okay. You know what? I need to be full health for this because I'm not. Not about to get killed for no reason. Oh, you son of a gun. Oh, you. Nope, 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 nope. I'm I'm messing up. I'm completely screwing up. That was not a good idea. That was that was probably the worst of my ideas. Ah, oh, you stupid snack monster. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna jump too, but. Oh God! Oh God! We fell into a pit, a pit of snakes! Oh my God! 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 That was the worst. Now that was the worst. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, <laughs> woo! Woo! Heart is pounding from that one. Woo! 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 <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! Stop it, snakes! I don't like this. You're scaring me. You're freaking me out. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't like this. I don't like this. <laughs> uh, okay. 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 Where am I? Where am I? Just stay alive. Just stay alive. I'm pulling a Craig over here and not not putting away the 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 things I gather, the items. Oh, thank god. You just ran into your death, buddy. Oh, what? Oh, come on. I keep messing up with their ugh. With their health, I keep thinking that it's... I don't know what I thought there. I, I don't know what I thought there. I, I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> I had to say it. I'm throwing another quarter in. <laughs> Audio says, I had the Twitch and YouTube streams, but that was making both streams buffer, so I had to let Twitch, the Twitch one go and close it. Oh, yeah, definitely, man. Sometimes a little bit of strain on that uh, that Wi-Fi router isn't, isn't good for the devices. A good, well, it's not good for uh, downloading uh, information constantly, because that's that's basically what a stream is, you know, or or even any YouTube video. Basically, it's uh, constantly downloading information while the information to play uh, whatever you're you're looking at. Oh my God, I could have just fell down there, and that would have been it. But uh, yeah, crazy stuff. And when you have more than one device trying to download that much data at once. It, it kind of makes it hard on the on the on your router or your uh, or your Wi-Fi uh, your Wi-Fi device to to spread it around equally or you know at all it like clogs up the system it seems like it's weird very weird <laughs> CDI says why did it have to be snakes right <laughs> some Indiana Jones right there huh and P Hansen says Egyptian Asps, very dangerous. You go first. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, man, seriously though, why did it have to be snakes? I'm not, like I said, I'm not very scared of snakes, but damn, these ones are scary. <laughs> I'd be very scared of these ones. I, just out of, uh, just seeing them out of the corner of my eye would definitely make me jump in real life. I hate these things might as well grind a little bit right might as well get all the points we can while we're here let's see if I could get my points back see which monster it got distributed to these little ones aren't so bad anymore now that we faced <laughs> all those big ones and then the the roaming human ones the human ones I don't like either the the little ball ones they're not so bad those ones okay I could I could handle those ones what is what's up going on here why why is the freaking why is the tombstone throwing up this this should not be i'm a little confused what's going on here 
It sounds like it's breathing too. <laughs> what, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh god, I hear you, Snack. I hear you. You don't gotta hiss at me. I know you're dangerous. You look dangerous. Dude. Especially the big one. That big one with the big old head right there. Ugh. That's gross. I once found a baby snake uh, near my apartment complex. Like, I was taking the dog for a walk, and as we're walking, like, up to uh, where where the main street is, like, where it gets, like, extremely busy, uh, there's just this little tiny baby garden snake, uh, like, slithering, slithering in, like, uh, where the water would be, you know? Like, like, if it rained, where the water, the gutter area would be. And it's just slithering along, and I'm like, whoa! That's the first time I've really ever seen a snake like that in the wild. Well, no, technically second. But it's the first time I've seen a little baby snake like that in the wild. Very crazy. Blew my mind. And then uh, there's this other dude that was uh, walking behind me. And I told him, hey, look, a snake. And he picked him up. I think he I think he kept him. Or I hope he did. I hope he didn't kill it because that was just random. We couldn't believe it. First time I ever really saw a snake in the wild was up in Boulder. I was working at this warehouse with uh, a couple of my cousins and uh so me and some co-workers and one of my cousins go and uh we, there's there's a few spots in in uh the area we were working at that had like cool cool spots to eat your lunch smoke some weed you know whatever and uh one of the spots was this lake that you could walk around where people would go exercise walk their dogs you know whatever and um as we're walking around there's this big old black snake that i see it's like huge huge like just popping its head out of the water and um you know I, I thought it was a toy i've never seen a snake in the wild before that you know i i had no idea and so i i tell my cousin like hey is that a real snake and as i'm saying that it, the thing like slithers off really quickly into the water you know freaked us all out because we were so close to it and uh yeah i just i could not believe my eyes that day i was like oh my god that was actually a real snake and we were like no less than like two feet from it thing could have bit any of us very very crazy and the way it took off too so fast like if it did want to strike one of us it could have easily easily and got away it's so crazy Uh, let's see, Card King says, uh, the game focuses on animals that give people the willies, snakes, spiders, giant boars, evil dogs. Nature itself has been corrupted by the ancient blood. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That would make sense why this game scares me the most out of all of them. <laughs> I could see that. I could definitely see that. Dude, look at all these things. Oh my god. If it takes more than one strike, just do it. Just do it. Whatever works. Oh, 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 oh yeah what's up what's up big dude what's up big boy how you feeling i got you and slam you down you know if i had a giant axe like this i guess i wouldn't be as scared as long as i'm armed you know i mean in real life these snakes wouldn't be able to take on uh freaking a gun like even the gun that they have whatever it may be i don't even know what kind of gun it technically is but Oh god, I thought that would kill it. 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 Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. That was a bad idea. That was the worst idea out of all of them. Oh, and I'm poisoned too. Poison. Oh shit. Ah, oh, and we need to Oh no no no. Once I know I'm safe, I will throw that quarter in, I promise. Okay, okay. Quarter in the jar. Okay. Pull out my gun. Pull out my fofo. My fofo, make sure all your kids don't grow. It's not doing that much. And we're still poisoned, so this is not the best idea. You know what? I'm going to keep walking. <laughs> that might be my best idea here. My best idea all day. There we go. Dude, what the hell? Why are you, sh why are you shooting your load at me? I didn't do nothing to you. You don't know me. Shooting all your... Your poison gravy. Oh, God. Oh, that was such such a gamble. It kind of paid off, though. I, I didn't mind. Just don't shoot. Just don't shoot. Oh, what? No way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're, we got poisoned again. This is not good, guys. We need more, uh, more, more blood. 
We need more uh, health. Frenzied cold blood. That's not the type of blood I meant. Oh, son of a gun. You would think by now I would know which button heals me and which button throws a rock. <laughs> like, seriously, what the hell? CDI says, kill it with fire. And then P. Hansen says, oh, I found the gun I want to get. It's an AR-15 that is chambered in 50 caliber bow wolf oh my damn that sounds crazy as hell dude holy crap my dad has an ar-15 son of a bitch i did it again but uh it's uh it's uh 556 five, and uh yeah that thing is crazy but it's it's all plain you know there's no uh there's no uh optics on it there's no uh iron sights nothing you know it's just uh very plain because he wanted to put his own type of optics and you know customize it the way that he wants it you know so it's uh it's really crazy still to shoot it you know i freaking love that thing that and my ak-47 man that are my favorite things to shoot out of the arsenal we have but uh yeah definitely a good gun there ar-15 there's a lot of people in my hometown that have ar-15s it seems because uh usually every time i go down there that oh my god every time we go to the shooting range there's always somebody there with an AR. Can I jump up on this? Nope. Okay. Ah, bad choice. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Oh, what's up, giant pig? There's people that are afraid of pigs? I didn't know that. <laughs> like, these kinds of pigs still don't freak me out. Oh, what's up? You just... Welcome to your death, for the mucka. Oh, no, that was bad. That was really bad. If I wouldn't have messed up right there, that would have been bad. We would have been making bacon tonight. Making bacon. There we go. <laughs> well, that was weird. I did not... Oh, I do not like that sound. Oh, hell no. No, no, no. No, you you do not do that again. That freaked me out. I did not like that. I did not like that. And then the outcome of that, he made more of these snack things come up. No, no. I did not like anything about that. That was... That, he just literally raped my ears. I did not want to hear that. I did not like that. I did not like that. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, me. Oh, my. <laughs> P. Hansen says, uh, Demolition Ranch. Oh, yeah, dude. Demolition Ranch is a good channel. Definitely a good source of information as well. They, uh, or he, rather, does give some really, really good information. Shows a lot of good weapons. God damn it. I got stuck there. That was not, that was not fair. That was not fair. But who said anything about this game being fair, I guess? Did I kill the snack man? I don't think I did, did I? Oh, you son of a gun! How you hiding in the midst of your dead brethren? That ain't fair. I guess I need to stop saying anything about fairness, because like I said, this game, never, no one said it was fair. No one said it was going to be easy. Abraham Lincoln, 1974. <laughs> Nothing about that was right. <laughs> son of a gun, every time. Okay, let's see how. Let's see how. Let's see how. Let's see how. Ah, uh, I feel like we're getting close to the ninjas. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't like that sound either. That sounds like another big pig. As much as I'm not afraid of pigs, I'd be afraid of that pig. Babe, you are not. Babe, pig in the city. And anybody ever heard, seen that? They actually had prostitutes in that movie, believe it or not. Or not prostitutes, as in real prostitutes, but dog prostitutes. There was a doggy prostitute in Babe 2, Pig in the City. Don't believe me? Go watch it. Oh, yes, thank God. Woo! I thought it was going to straight up take down more than half my health. That scared the heck out of me. I thought I was dead right there. Well, not dead, but very close to it. I could have been dead if I didn't pay attention. Oh, no, 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 no. What the? F no, 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 no. There we go. There you go, buddy. You're attacking now. Oh, my. Oh, me, oh, my. Dude, this would be freaky, too, seeing these things. Like, I thought they were zombies at first, but they have, like... Uh, it's hard to see them with this log here, but they, they're not exactly skeletons. They have, like, maybe seaweed on them, but they do have skin. 
I don't know. That's very weird. Either way. Either way. Very scary. Ugh. Do you hear the way it died? Disp dis dissipating lake. What is that? What does that do? See, I don't know what those are either. I know I've gotten a couple of those. Whatever they are. They're like little patches. Like, like these. Here we go. Rune increases defense. So... Do I use these or do they just they just happen? Do it's just it's there now. Is that what that means? Like I, I'm not too, I'm not too sure. Cuz I can't use it. That means it's already there, right? Right? <laughs> CDI says in Babe 2. I don't think I saw that one. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, Babe 2, they have uh dogs that are prostitutes and like like it's about the big city, you know. So when uh, when Babe finds like friends to help him out, you know, one of those one of those helpers is a dog prostitute. It's very weird, very weird. It's, uh, it's it's amazing what people got got away with back in the day. Like even recently, like uh, like in the recent like past. Well, I guess it's been about twenty years now, but still, that's crazy. I cannot believe it's already been. So damn long, like freaking time goes by. Uh, let's see. Louise says the pink poodle, Stony. Yeah, yeah, it is the pink poodle. It's the it's the pink one. It's like grown. It has pink stuff on it, and yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a prostitute. Cause uh, in the movie, the way they portray it is very, very on the nose. You know, <laughs> like very odd. <laughs> CDI says, good lord, I guess babe had to make that money. <laughs> and says, that changes the whole quote. That'll do, pig. <laughs> oh, hell no. That's funny. Uh, CDI says, or no, Card King says, uh, you have to get a badge to equip them at the Hunter's Dream. Oh. Okay, okay. I think uh, I think we might not have that badge yet is what, what might be happening. So I get you now. We we do need another thing in in order to equip it. Oh yeah, what's up, pig boy? What's up? What's up, little piggy? Pigsy, babe? I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. Oh hey, there's another one of these. I didn't think I was gonna take that last pig down so easily. I probably would have done that a lot quicker. I was like strategically planning my approach. Yeah, you get out of here. <laughs> Oh god, she like jumped back up when I when I stepped on her back. That was scary. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. See, she's like she's attacking me even though she's dead. I don't like it. <laughs> she's scaring me. Ah, she's wrestling me. <laughs> I love the ragdoll physics in this game, like this one and uh, and uh, Dark Souls. Uh, Dark Souls One have the best ragdoll physics, like to be able to move the enemies around like that. So funny, especially Dark Souls 1, because you can make them do some funny stuff. Like the way Craig would always kick them off the edges and stuff like that. I'd love doing that. Always love doing stuff like that. Let's see, Card King, or yeah, Card King says, you find the badge in the world. Forget where. Hmm. Uh-oh. No worries. I'm sure we'll find it eventually. I'm sure we might just stumble upon it. It seems like it might be important. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no worries. No worries at all. I know you said going lower is better, but I always like to find the back route first. You know, I like to find what what uh, doesn't make me uh, move forward. You know, I, I like to find. That's probably why I constantly get myself lost is because I'm always. Oh my god! I never seen that happen. Whoa! 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 Nobody said anything about these heads coming out out of this dude's body. That was fucked up. I did not like that. I did not like that. The scream and the way they came out of his corpse, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> that was odd. That was very odd. <laughs> Alright. Clockwise metamorphosis. Damn, see, we're, we're finding a lot of those around here. It's probably somewhere here. Is this lady alive? She might have been at one point, but she ain't anymore. Oh, but what I was saying about the places I like to go. I like to go the way that doesn't progress the story first. I like to check everything out, it seems like, you know. Like, I'm a treasure collector. I'm a hoarder. I always try to go that back way first. And that what that's what always gets me lost in games like this. Because there is no back way in these games. The back way is the shortcut home or... Yeah, see, this is this is just going back, back the way we came, I'm pretty sure. Pretty damn sure. 
okay so that's just a shortcut back up see so yeah yeah there's no back way it's always a shortcut something something along those lines very very interesting Bastupe. <laughs> no i love that i love the way they could do that in these games like make a path that you don't realize is there that brings you back to uh an earlier point in the game where you could save and upgrade and stuff oh dude it's so cool the way they implement that i really like it in the surge as well though like in the surge oh my god it's so creative so creative the way they bring you back to uh to your uh your base or whatever you know your your leveling up station like in darks oh my god here we go oh no we probably should have went back i should have i should have got rid of my points this is not bueno oh what's up what's up what's up ninja how you feeling i got you i got you oh you got me you got me you got me good oh no 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 you 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 throwing a rock bud oh god 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 Oh yeah, oh yeah. Why you why you tripping? Have a nice trip. See you next fall. Oh you bastard. The dude with the freaking torch has gotta go. Oh he's got a sword too, that's not fair. Aha Oh dude's got a torch as well. No 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 fuck Aha I knew that was coming too. I was stuck in that corner I was trying to heal. That was not. Ah, oh, that was not good. That was not good. Two quarters. <laughs> Man, that was horrible. <laughs> uh, CDI asks, uh, "Are these the ring wraiths?" Hmm, that's a good question. I'm not too sure. I'm not very good with the names in these games. It's very hard to, for me to remember. Like in in Dark Souls, the only boss i could remember right now at the top of my head is ornstein and schmog that's the only name i could really think of yeah no i uh maybe the prince of lothric right that's that's one right and uh ah uh, who are the guys uh in the cathedral the cathedral ward maybe i can't remember there's only a few that i can remember Oh, CDI says ring race are in Lord of the Rings. Okay, <laughs> see, I'm I'm not too big on Lord of the Rings. Like I've seen, I've seen the movies, uh, but that's about it. I never really got too far into it. But uh, I I do like the 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 mythos, you know, and like uh, you know that type of stuff, you know, with orcs and dwarves, and you know, I, I do like that type of uh, setup. But I don't know, Lord of the Rings just never uh, clicked with me like that, you know. It never really interested me. I never had the same interest in it as my friends would. I would. I would like to say, because a couple of my friends really enjoyed it. You know, they played the video games. You know, they had like collectible cards or something. I remember there was like some sort of cards that had stuff like that. Maybe it wasn't Lord of the Rings, but it was something. And uh, yeah, never really got too too into the world myself, but I do enjoy those aspects of it. You know, it's funny. <laughs> like, a lot of these places, you could just run past everybody and get to where you're going to. But, uh, I never end up doing that until I've already gotten to where I'm going, you know? Like, I usually have to fight everything until I get there. And it cracks me up how, how easily I could have just ran past everything. <laughs> like, seriously, I'm just... This is the same type of run-through, you know? I'm just not, I'm not engaging with any of the, the enemies. Am I going the right way? I better be. <laughs> if I lose all those uh, all those points, I'm going to be one upset stony. <laughs> CDI says, "Oh, I forgot to mention the the ninjas breathe fire." <laughs> well, that would have been nice to know. <laughs> no, but no worries, dude. It's all good. And uh, yeah, it's it's definitely. Uh, it's uh, definitely good to not have spoilers sometimes, for sure. And yeah, that's definitely something that uh, that was uh, really cool to find out uh, afterwards instead of beforehand, you know? So yeah, no worries at all. Usually a lot of the time, it'd probably be better if I uh, like asked for help before, uh, before bringing something up, you know? I know I do get lost in here a lot, and I probably will ask for help a lot, but yeah, just for the sake of spoilers, though, like something like that would definitely be... Uh, I would rather it be left out for sure. So yeah, no worries. 
Okay, where are my points going to be? Are they going to be on the ground where I died? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, God. Oh, you son of a bitch. Did I get him? No, I didn't get him. I didn't get him. I didn't get him. Are you fucking kidding me? I didn't get him. Oh, my God. I mean, I wasn't going to get out of there with them, but at least I would have had another chance. Man. Fuck. <laughs> There's three three quarters going in the jar. Uh, my fingers are blocking them. <laughs> I mean, it's not like you don't believe me, but <laughs> three three quarters. Fudge, man! I cannot believe that they took the out real quick that time. See, that's that's what happens when you're more focused on money. <laughs> Oh god, oh god, oh god. And that's what happens when you're more focused on on money than anything else. You get you get you just you get fucked. <laughs> and not in the good way. Alright, there's another quarter. What am I doing? <laughs> Come on, go down. What the hell? I pressed the button. Well, at least this time I don't have anything to worry about. Now we could just run and gun. Run in and gun out. <laughs> and I have a little bit more of an idea where I'm going, so we might even get there a little little bit quicker. Ooh, that might not be the way I'm going. That might not be a, <laughs> a good idea. At least I'm somewhat understanding this area now. I'm kind of realizing where I'm going each time. I'm able to keep myself in one direction. So yeah, not not horrible. Oh god, that dude's about to... He became erect. <laughs> uh, listen to the snake dudes. The dudes that have the snakes coming out of their heads. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Just get past these sons of a guns. Just don't let them hurt you. That's all I'm asking. There you go. Who hurt you, boy? I, I feel like this should be the quickest way over there. I, I don't think there's any way quicker. Um, Card King says, may I suggest, uh, you try Chalice Dungeons for a bit, uh, to grind and level up. Um, yeah, we could definitely pull that up. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get on that next time I die. Next time we get back to the, oh crap, I went backwards again. Next time we get back to the, to the thing, to the bonfire, whatever it is. Okay, I know where I'm at. The damn lamp. <laughs> it's not a bonfire in this game. It's a lamp. I always forget that. Always, uh... I mean, you, you get so used to bonfire. Like, even in uh, Neo, I call it a bonfire. And it's uh, it's a little, like, a praying a praying altar thing. And even in The Surge, it's like a med bay or something. You know, like, these ro you, you do this robotic... Is that... Nah, that's that's got to be the last ones, right? Oh, 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 grab it before they freaking stab you again. Yeah, that that wasn't nothing. Why did it tell me to grab those? There was no blood echoes in that. That was that was dumb. That was there was no point to that. Oh, you son of a gun! I'm dead. I'm dead. I press, uh, I pressed the right button, but I, I just didn't have it. I just didn't have it. Hmm, what am I doing there? There's there is some sort of. So a strategy that needs to be implied there, and I feel like it has something to do with that gigantic um, tombstone. I'm pretty sure. It's like you got, you probably got to keep the fire guys behind it as you're as you're dealing with the dude with just the sword. And then uh, I don't know. There's there's something that has to be going on there. Something that has to click before you're able to do that correctly. And I think it's probably because I'm running around with my big old my big old axe out i was gonna call it a sword but it's not a sword it's an axe and uh yeah i think if i had it smaller like this i probably would have been a lot quicker and mm. yeah next time we go against those ninjas i ain't, I ain't doing it with an elongated axe it's gonna be it's gonna be with the short it's not it's not about the size it's how you use it <laughs> uh. Oh, I was gonna load another bowl, but we're already here. I'll load a bowl when we get into the the chalice area, the altars. No, oh, we don't have that one. There we go. First ritual chalice, ritual chalice dungeon search. 
Mm, find an accessible chalice dungeon. Search chalice by glyph. See, I'd never understood that. Ritual to create a chalice dungeon. Okay. Right? What does shared fixed dungeon mean? See, all of this just confuses me. Not enough materials. Okay, shared fixed driver. No, still not. Ah, we need blood echoes. Crap. Okay. 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 It's okay. It's okay. You need a thousand blood echoes, Cardi uh, Card King says. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we could definitely do that. We could definitely do that. All those snacks are worth quite a bit. They're, they're, they're worth their weight in blood. Why, why am I not... What's going on here? What's going on here? Why can't I leave? Hello? Oh, here we go. <laughs> that was weird. Forbidden woods. Back to the forbidden woods. And to load a bowl. Perfecto. I love my little pokeball thing. Very, very useful. Every time your bowl gets uh, hashtag not sponsored. Every time your bowl <laughs> uh, gets uh, cashed or burnt or however you say it, spent. Whenever it's done, that poke bowl is perfect to uh, empty out your bowl in uh, in preparation for the new bowl. Some good stuff. Some good stuff. Oh shoot! Yeah, Card King was right. Pop pop them cold bloods open and they'll give you blood echoes. Ah. I keep forgetting all that. Let's see. Let's see if we could. Yeah, I'm sure we could get enough from all the ones I have. Uh, let's see. Cold blood. Cold blood. Whatever it was. Additional medium that strengthens bullets. Oh, here we go. Thick cold blood. Yep. Oh, yeah. We have way more than enough. Holy crap. I didn't even know I had all of these. Used to gain frez frenzied blood echoes. What is that? Huh. I don't know. We should probably not use all of them. <laughs> we should probably not uh, go crazy unless I'm going to upgrade. Oh, damn. <laughs> that was worth way more than I expected. Well, <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not done loading my bowl, bowl back yet. Or I'm, I'm not. What, what did I just say? <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not done loading my bowl yet. So it's okay. It's okay. Damn, this this game loads really quick. Like compared to uh, the Surge and Dark Souls, well, yeah, Dark Souls Three kind of takes a little while as well, but maybe not that long. Maybe I'm just uh, over over uh, overthinking it. But it seems like that was really quick. That doll kind of scares me as well. She just kind of stares at you while there's like crying in the background. What what's up with that? All right, there we go. Perfecto. What is a shared thing? Does that mean like people can jump in with me or select additional right shared? Fig I don't know. Let's 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 turn it on. I don't know. Let's let's find out what it does. Conduct a ritual to create a chalice dungeon. Materials will be <laughs> consumed. Excuse me. Okay. Ooh, this is interesting. The ritual is finished, and the, a chalice rests upon the altar. You may now explore the dungeon. Ooh, whoa, that looks like a vagina. A very, very nasty one. <laughs> huh, ah, that, that's actually really cool. I really wish I would have figured this out a long time ago. I was so scared to use that chalice because I thought it was like a one-and-done type thing, you know? That, that's crazy. Uh, Card King says, some chalice dungeons can be shared online. That's what some of the additional options are for. Oh, okay. Huh. So is that what I just did? <laughs> do, you, do you know if that's what I just did uh, when I did the shared thing? Because uh, that's what I really want to know, whatever that was. Let's see, Adiel says, I'm in bed since it's pretty cold over here. Oh, damn, that's crazy. It's cold where you're at? It's like extremely hot over here. <laughs> it's been in like the 80s all day. When I was uh, washing my, my truck, I uh, I was burning up just vacuuming, you know, like being in the sun vacuuming it. And then uh, again, when I took the dog for a walk, I was uh, very afraid of burning his paws on the sidewalk. I always do that uh, 10 second or five second touch to the to the sidewalk, you know. I'll I'll make sure and uh, touch it with my bare hand to make sure it's not too hot for his paws, because uh, the way dogs' paws are. 
the skin on their paws aren't that strong. You know, it's the same as your bare feet. You know, basically, is what I is what was told to me, explained to me. I believe. So um, yeah, it's crazy. And Adia says, well, it is almost winter here. Oh yeah, it is like opposite, huh? Damn, that's crazy. Card King says, only if you choose the share option. Okay, so yeah, that is probably what I did then. I'm pretty sure that is what I did, but I don't know how that will affect it, so we'll see. That's crazy. I, I didn't know that they had these little dungeons. Like, well, I guess not little. I, we'll see how, how far this takes me. I should probably light this. But that is so cool. Oh, you know what? No. Okay, I was going to say we should pop all my blood echoes and, and uh, level up as much as I can, but we'll, we'll go through this a little bit first. We'll see how far we could get. Once we get to the next lantern... We'll, uh, we'll go back to the Hunter's Dream and, and level up as far as we possibly can. Because I don't know what I'm holding on to those things for, for no reason, basically. Oh, hey, here we go. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> I didn't think it would be this close, so the next one after this one. <laughs> wow. I did not expect that to be that close. Why is that? Why did that happen? Why did they have two lamps just like... Look, I can see the other one from here. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Uh, where do you ever see that? <laughs> hey, we got S-List Plays in the chat. What's up, S-List? Thank you so much for joining us today, man. I appreciate it. S-List is in the YouTube chat. Some good stuff. Some good stuff. Take a hit for you real quick before I put myself in any danger. I should probably uh, get it a little unclogged, too, because when I last hit it, it kind of kind of didn't hit right. It seemed like I might have packed it a little too tightly. See, I love this little tool on my lighter. It just has this little screwdriver type thing little mini screwdriver type thing that you could poke your bowl with as well i got a poke bowl and a poker on my freaking well i got a poke bowl ashtray and then a poker on my freaking on my lighter some good stuff we living good over here <laughs> noise noise some good stuff uh Audio says, although over here autumn is more cold than winter, except for two or three winter days that are really cold. Oh, damn, that's crazy. I didn't know that. And Esla says, I haven't scented the, the bong in a bit. Oh, man, yeah. Some good stuff. Um, Freaking, there was a good little while there when I wasn't smoking too much, but uh, I've been picking it up a little bit more lately just because... Uh, when I when I stop smoking or when I don't smoke so much and then end up smoking a lot, it starts to get me really paranoid now. And I realize that only happens because uh, because I don't smoke as much. You know, I'm not as used to it. So when I get a little more than what I'm used to, it like really gets me stoned. You know, it gets me stoned more than more than more than what I'm used to. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it, but uh, yeah, and uh, when that happens, it makes me really paranoid, and I really don't like it. So I've been trying to keep up with my smoking lately. That way, that doesn't happen. You know, I could keep it, keep it in control, keep it at a, uh, at arm's length if I needed to. You know, I I could smoke more than, oh god, more than usual, and not freak out. I only know it's like that because one of my friends is like that too. Uh, he stopped smoking weed for a good amount of time. And the next time, and then after he, once he started smoking again, he got really paranoid and just couldn't do it. He just, he started, he just stopped smoking weed because of that. Like completely, completely stopped smoking weed. Just because, uh, whenever he did smoke it, uh, it made him just way too paranoid. Come on. There we go. That's what we're looking for. No, he's still alive? Seriously? Dude, you only have like a little tiny sliver of health. You're making me use all my bullets. That is not cool. You know what? I'm coming up here. I thought he'd be able to hit me with his bomb as I was climbing. That's why I didn't want to climb, but I'll do it. Oh, you... F exactly what I thought would happen, happened. <laughs> oh, my. These are like like freaking crazy dungeons, huh? There's all kinds of stuff in here. <laughs> Hadiel says, you getting paranoid from smoking? Uh, nah, there's no way. I don't believe you. <laughs> oh, it, it can happen. It can happen. There's been even times on stream, like, uh, like, uh, like any time, like before, like maybe a month ago or like maybe a month and a half, uh, whenever I hit that, the big bong, the freaking, uh, the bigger bong that I had that broke. Oh, dude. 
that thing would freak me the hell out every time I smoked it. Even on stream, like I would get really paranoid, really self-conscious, really nervous about everything. Like I don't, I don't think it really shone through on camera, but inside I was like mentally freaking out. <laughs> like uh, I'm sure there's probably a couple of streams there. Like if you see me hit that bong, they are like in my mind. I'm like, oh my god. Like there's like there's there's too many people watching me like I'm like this is nerve wracking. What if I do something stupid? Like am I gonna do something stupid? Like oh I'm way too high for this, you know? Like those types of thoughts going through my head, but you know acting somewhat what I would believe is normal. <laughs> but yeah, it just it gets crazy. But now it doesn't get like that anymore. Like I I feel comfortable hitting hitting the bong or smoking like constantly you know it's it's not too bad anymore <laughs> and adios says dude that was sarcasm yesterday you were so paranoid that you were making me worry <laughs> oh i don't know no I, I don't i don't remember feeling paranoid yesterday well maybe i don't know <laughs> i didn't like i didn't feel like i have before you know in the past when i was hitting that big bong but i mean i, I did smoke quite a bit yesterday and that was uh that was more of uh oh no 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 of uh, that was more keeping it together than anything like no 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 oh, okay that didn't kill me oh you you oh, 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 oh we're still alive over here we're still we're still alive okay okay oh you bastard I might be a little too strong for this dungeon even though they're they're definitely <laughs> taking advantage of me of me and uh, kicking my ass over here. Maltov, nice. We needed some Maltovs. Love me some Maltovs in this game. The Maltov is uh, one of my favorite throwing things in this game for sure. But I always end up using them on accident. And oh my God, what the hell? Always using them on accident and uh, always regretting it because I, I love having them. And you can never have enough, it seems like. Dude, get out here so I can see you. So I can see you clearly. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Who are you? There we go. I wanted to get that double strike on him. Whoa, he was about to get up. He wanted to. Got some ritual blood on that one. Nice. Got a specter. A sphincter. Specter sphincter. I don't know. Beware of a strange foe. I've, I've been bewaring, man. All of these foes are strange. This is back out where I was, right? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Why are you... What? Whoa, 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 whoa. I just heard something else drop. Maybe not. Okay. Maybe it was just me. Could have been just me. I don't know. <laughs> uh. Oh, okay, yeah, audio. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I see what you're saying. You don't remember the whole watching you through the webcam and them and you talking to a thing? Yeah, okay, yeah, yep, yep. I do remember that. I do remember that. Yep. <laughs> uh, that was more of a, but that was more of being on a on a topic of paranoia. You know, like uh, we were like I I, don't, I can't remember how it got brought up. I probably brought it up myself. But yeah, that's that's a different type of paranoia there. That's a that's more of a. The paranoia there is more of a like a daily thing like it might be there it might not be but the type of t paranoia I'm describing is like 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 I, I like passionately believe that people are judging me at every like moment you know like not just watching me but judging me and and like thinking bad things about me like I, I don't know it's hard to explain but yeah it is a little it is a little bit different it is a little bit different the feeling is at least but yeah, that is crazy. I can't believe I forgot about that. Cause yeah, it is very, very, uh, very scary to think about sometimes. <laughs> Being hacked through the internet and having somebody watch you through your through your camera on your phone or through your webcam or something. Yeah, fuck that. And yeah, like Adiel said, uh, I usually like there's like every once in a while I'll I'll just look at the webcam and be like. I know you're watching me <laughs> or I know you can hear me like you better you better stop <laughs> like I know you're there I'm, I'm gonna call the cops <laughs> I don't know some stupid stupid stuff like that <laughs> uh, oh, oh 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 better better gotta gotta focus on stuff getting getting lost here in the chat there we go there we go damn how many of these enemies are they gonna send at me holy crap Dude, are they like are they literally like coming back to life as I'm killing them or what what's going on here? 
like are more being made <laughs> like oh yeah they are they are being made okay i just seen that one i i seen that one come to life oh they're like these things little helpers or something what is up with that whoa 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 whoa, whoa. that ain't cool dude no 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 losing my camera here too no you stop you stop it we do that outside bad okay now now <laughs> that's over with um card king says all right gonna head out and close out my own bloodborne game for the day keep on keep the hunt going stony oh hell yeah card king thank you for all your help man i definitely appreciate it and uh thanks for joining us today as well and oh yeah i'll be going on for for oh damn you know what it's already two hours oh my god it's two and a half hours already holy shiza oh my i'm actually gonna be i'm, I'm about to be <laughs> Uh, freaking closing out myself. Jesus, Jeebus. I cannot believe it's already been two and a half hours. Holy go. Ooh. Ooh. What is that thing? <laughs> Hesless uh, sings, uh, Sometimes it feels like somebody's watching me. <laughs> right? That's exactly how I feel sometimes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Those ghosts. Okay, so I think once we get done with this dungeon, we might end up... Uh, closing down the stream i cannot believe it's already been that much time guys that is so crazy cannot believe it cannot believe it oh what's up what's up oh that was such a gamble again every time every time <laughs> it, it kind of looked like that was coming like like fire was coming out of his ass <laughs> for a second there all right, all right, nice. You know, that wasn't too bad. I, I get it. I actually didn't know this game had freaking uh, dungeons like this where you could, like, dungeon crawl and get experience and stuff. That's so crazy to me. I cannot believe that. Seriously, cannot believe that. Ah, wow, there is a... Somewhere a door to the old labyrinth has opened. Ooh, that sounds exciting. But yeah, I really cannot believe I've been missing this entirely different part of this game. So crazy. So crazy. Uh, Adios says, I believe people not liking you and judging you is unavoidable, if that's how you spell it. The important part is not letting it get to you, right? No, yeah, I've definitely learned that, like, not to really care too much about what people think uh a while back ago i would say it, it started to happen because uh you know i'm perfectly fine being at my house by myself without other people you know because I've, I've learned not to really give two f's about it you know like like uh i haven't really had much enemies to be quite honest but like uh it definitely doesn't cause me pain if you don't like me you know it just <laughs> It's, uh, it's just, you know, one of those things you end up learning after a while. And uh, some people get used to it. Some people don't. Like, my sister's not like that at all. My sister is a, a social butterfly, I guess you could say. She, uh, she loves being with friends. She loves making new friends. She loves uh, everything about it, you know. And, uh, yeah, she, she, when me and her lived together, she did not like being there just her she was always with a friend and it always made me mad because I, I liked being on my own in my own space like i like being with my family and stuff and like with friends and stuff like that but it doesn't bother me to be alone either you know very uh yeah it's just very situational i guess and uh i don't know the thing with the weed though like when whenever i start feeling like that I don't know how to explain it, you know, it's more of a, it's not like a mental feeling, you know, it's like, it's like in my chest, you know, I get this, like, just this bad feeling, like, I don't know, and I feel like that's what causes it, because once I'm able to focus on other things, it starts going away, you know, and that nervousness goes away, it's, it's like a nervous feeling, yeah, yeah, feeling nervous about it, and I don't know, just sometimes when I'm unbelievably high, it's hard to control, but but like I said, lately, now that I've been keeping up with my smoking, it's not so bad anymore, you know. I, I'm definitely very able to keep myself in a good place and, you know, have fun with my high. <laughs> and that is something important when you're a stoner, for sure, to have fun with it. But, um, man, we, we made a lot of progress today. Holy shiza. I cannot believe that. 
Uh, Adia says, Stony, uh, although the weed does make you think different for a moment, I know. Oh, yeah, definitely. And says, I believe people, oh, no, I already read that one. But, yeah, it definitely does give you another point of view on stuff. It, it's crazy, very crazy. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit on why I like it because the different point of view, the different thinking, uh, the different way of thinking is what excites me about things. It makes me more creative and makes me feel like uh, – I could solve puzzles in like different ways than what's originally meant to happen. Like I, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but we'll we'll leave that till next time, because um, uh, we've already been going on for the the time I usually stream a little bit a little bit more. But um, yeah, some good stuff, a lot of progress. Tomorrow we'll be back with Persona Five, and uh, after that I think we're gonna be doing the Surge. I feel like the Surge would be fun. And I'm going to continue with God of War as well, but just Persona every other day and then like games between it, you know, just weird, like just different games between it. But uh, thank you guys so much. I appreciate everything. Um, I'll count out this this change in the jar and uh, write it down for later and let you guys know how much how much we made today. Uh, I'll let you guys know how much we made tomorrow. <laughs> Man, it's a bit hard. Uh, I'm confusing myself now, so we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. <laughs>